What's up, it's UTK. You're watching the Dirtbag Dan Show. Feels great to be dope. Boy, I got my mind on cake. Boy, boy, I got my mind on cake. Hustle every night and day. Boy, I got my mind on cake. Holy shit. Ladies and gentlemen, Dirtbag Dan Show number 47. I had to check. We've done so many of these fucking things. Uh, Skylar G's in this bitch. Jeez. Caustic. Oh. I'm technical. Special guest. What, we, we only got West Coast people? Nah, 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 nah. PH is in the house What's up, tonight. what's up, what's up, y'all? That's awesome, bro. We had uh, uh, Poison Pen in here a couple weeks ago. I know, I saw the show. I heard the bro, jokes. We're doing, we're doing. <laughs> so I heard the jokes. I heard the jokes. Heard what y'all said. Word. Nah, it was a good show. Yeah, uh, shouts out to our sponsor, Stoned Ape Clothing. Look at this. Uh, we keep it dipped. In this ill stoned ape gear, I got my stoned ape coffee cup. I'm drinking non-alcoholic beverages out of it. Nice. Alcoholic beverages out of other things. Yes. Um, uh, www.stonedapeclothing.com. Also, stonedape710 on Twitter and Instagram for all my uh, oil heads. They know that 710. They, they know what I'm saying. Uh, also, we, we opened up the shop on the website, DBD. Uh, dirtbagdanshow.com we have the DVD gear uh, the hoodies brand new hoodies for fucking winter time uh, zip up ain't nothing on the front just a big ass fucking bearded DVD face on the back <laughs> Uh, and then we have t-shirts of that same design. And we also have a link to get uh, a limited edition dirtbag ripper t-shirt which is like uh, the old Bones Brigade graphic and shit uh, <laughs> like, but it's my stupid oh, face, yeah, and I got yeah, the yeah. gap in, in the teeth and shit. You could tell it's me clearly. It's pretty awesome. Nice. Better than the Nirvana cover. Yeah, sure. Skylar wanted to do some really stupid shit. Uh, we've gotten some. <laughs> Whatever. You guys have got no some really silly idea. ideas. Hey, Put well, a beard on a baby. Let's get that fan uh, <laughs> idea. So I don't think it's about creativity. <laughs> <laughs> That's not creative at all. But yeah, we, I've been getting. Uh, we were talking about. Problem. T-shirt ideas and stuff, and uh, people have been sending T-shirt ideas into the show. Uh, some of them really creative, some of them really not creative. There's, <laughs> there's an example of a really not creative T-shirt. What do we got here? It's just my name on a bag of dirt. It's just a hello. <laughs> oh, my name is <laughs> Damn. Damn. Nice. Good, Good job. That was, uh, what's that? That's Adam Kurthbert. You suck. That's a terrible idea. Oh, shit. <laughs> I took a <laughs> lot. <laughs> You wasted all of our time, Adam. I'm pretty sure that's his first album cover. You made me put this on. It practically is your first. It album. is pretty much my. I, the, actually, the honestly, first that doesn't even look like dirt. It Not looks at like all. Manure. Yeah. Look like shit. It's yo. Shit. He's shit like, bag. Dad. We're gonna get specific here. <laughs> that is clearly fertilizer. Really? Fertilizer bag. Dan? Fertilizer Thanks, bag. Dan. Wow. Shit bag. Dan. Okay, I got right. you. Shit bag. <laughs> I got you, Adam. Colostomy Dan. <laughs> Thank you, Abel. Appreciate that. At least there's like a uh, little bit of foliage in the back. Abel, <laughs> Abel abilities. Foliage. You know what I'm saying? He's quickly becoming the executive producer of this situation. He's back back there running the technical. Just making sure I don't look shitty out here. It's because his outfits were too loud for the camera. <laughs> his, no, his, he'll be back on camera. We need him on camera with Abel to doing say this, all the shit that he says all the time. Every time we're he's in a we keep, we keep bucket keep hat. knowing. Ab we keep from knowing about Dirt's uh, five panel pets. bucket hat. We guys didn't know is he beat me in that versus shit. He beat me in a game of uh, UFC that we like filmed and put out on the internet. Wow. So now I'm like, fuck, this fool can't be on the show anymore. Motherfuckers <laughs> don't need to know about able abilities. Bullshit. <laughs> Uh, I'll never work in this town again, motherfucker. Um, <laughs> PH should have thrown the fight. Should have thrown the fight. So you are battling tomorrow. You're battling uh, your the, boy. Yeah, fucking a Joe Cutter. He's been yes. on the show like five times, dude. So he's like one of our like super alumnus on the show. Yes, and uh, I know he's an OG out here. He is totally, and he's like, uh, he's definitely that guy who's like way. I think he's so crazy, his ability to rap is underestimated a lot. Like, motherfuckers forget that he's, like, actually rapping a lot better than a lot of these dudes out there because he's, like, in a tiger suit or battling, you know <laughs> what I mean, uh, Carter Deems or, you know what I mean? Yeah, but no. he gets put in situations. He's doing, like, the, the oddity tour of battle rap. He's actual, like, an actual MC. Like, he can spit. Do you feel like that he feels like this is his, like, mom spaghetti moment, like... Getting an opponent like you, who's someone who has a name in battle rap and isn't going to fucking be super weird. You I don't know what think I mean? so. My name's not worth shit anymore. But 
<laughs> no, that was no, the no. most real. <laughs> <laughs> you real? Okay. He's like, <laughs> you real? <laughs> this ain't, no. He's like, this ain't 2012. So no, I, 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 I mean, honestly, you unless fell, you fell back for a while, I definitely fell back for a minute. Um, but like, I just see it as two dudes that well, you got an OG from the West Coast, OG from the East Coast, yeah. and we're just gonna fucking spar and see who could, you know, do what yeah. they do. Your name the rings best. out though, PH. You know I don't care. Like, I, I knew about Cutter before I saw him battle on, you know, Grind Time. From, like, Thunder Hut yeah, shit, yeah, right? Yeah. From Thunder making Hutt. songs and I, shit. I saw him battle um, Awkward's as KO before. And real shit, you know like, you may, so. you, have may, you may have heard us on the show because he's a battle rapper and we do it to every battle rapper, like, uh, front and on PH, but he ain't never heard us say shit about PH's music on this show in, in, in a uh, deferring way because I remember listening to your shit long before battle rap too like oh, yeah. before the grind time era i remember being like oh that dude battles i know who that dude is like i got fucking cds with that dude on it that's why i get all the old jokes yeah <laughs> <laughs> dude if i had lucky jokes. seven on fucking oh cassette, wow shout out I to can, ace lover i can Word. fucking make fun of you that's tight, bro. That's tight. I'll shoot you a copy. And C Ray's wall. I'll shoot you a copy. <laughs> vast, it was Vast Air, C Ray's, wow. me. Wow, Vast Air. Whatever Fuck happened to Vast Air? Was it Virtuoso? Uh, yeah, Virtuoso yeah. And, and AL Skills. Uh, crazy. Yeah. Remember Vast Air be like, <laughs> you know I got lava spit and got the lot of it. <laughs> bro, but that's not even. The, the voice has to be lighter. <laughs> was it? You know I got lava spit and got the lot of it. <laughs> but the, Sounds like you're about to make you. The craziest shit, shit is like, yo, he's so he like he's fucking like six foot eight and fucking three hundred seventy five pounds. Sounds like he's rapping on a cloud. Yeah, and shit. like Ooh, I fucked with that Cannibal Ox album. Yo, that's Tough. Cold Vein. Yeah, Cold Vein. That fucking shit, album's yo. a classic, man. Have you been focusing on music? Have you been do as as that become a priority for you? Like over the battle shit uh, uh, in the last few years, like a uh, 2013, 2014. I've been recording, but life actually took priority you know what I'm yeah saying? oh no doubt life takes just life, priority all just the life. time and um but i recorded in between I, i'm still working on this album that i have called the god particle and um i got like dilated peoples on it um mr len from cold flow produced a joint ah. for me on there house shoes produced a joint hell yeah house shoes That's um i not just sent me some crazy shit yeah so it's gonna. It, I I think it's gonna be like my standout album. Like everybody really likes the Orange Moon Over Brooklyn album yeah, I did with yeah, Marco, totally, totally. but this one I think it, it's dope. It's like a, a nice variety of shit on right. there. Guilty Simpsons on there too. Shout out to him. It's tight, cool. tight. Yeah, tight. yeah that's, that's a, cool. That's an impressive list. Like lineup of fucking yeah. features and yeah. shit yeah. for an album. That's he's like I ain't been doing much, but I got an album. But working on some album. shit. Nah, <laughs> I got some shit. I'm about to drop. Um. As far as battling goes and, and getting back into it, uh, how do you how do you feel like? Do you think like that you're getting shortchanged having to do fucking uh, having to headline the day one thing? Would you have rather waited and done the fucking day two thing, or are you like fuck it? Like I'm, I'm it's time to like remind these motherfuckers why I'm in this. Place. I never, I like I, to be honest with you, I never really cared as far as like. You know, if I was last on the card or first on the card, headlining or whatever, that didn't make no difference to me. It's yeah. just about battling and getting in the ring and fucking shooting a fair one with somebody. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, but, but, like, you know, when, I mean, this whole, this whole thing, and I, I'll just keep it real, with the whole um, Battle of the Bay day one, it got really confusing at one point. It was like, okay, it's going down. Then it was like, it's not going down. And then it was like, okay, well, certain people backed out. So now we got to figure. And it, they wanted to get rid of the battle. Like they didn't, they weren't going to have me and, and uh, Joe rock. And I right. thought that was kind of whack, but fucking Floss really fought for it to go down that's so tight. you know Ooh, what I'm saying Floss well, that's cares, tight. I think Floss yeah, yeah. likes yeah, both definitely. of you guys Floss too really like he's cared. a fan of you and he's a yeah. fan of Cutter that's yeah. a battle he wants to see so yeah. shouts out to Floss because he's a dude who like he's a behind the scenes dude, yeah. sticks his neck out a lot and to and, be honest uh, I, I, I watch Joe Cutter battles and I want to see him up against somebody that's a little more serious like me. Well, that's you know what, what I was going like, to say. When I said all that shit, I wasn't just meaning to say that you you're up there with fucking Lux and shit but I was saying that you're not you know 
Tiger Ty. You know, no, you're not no, Carter Deems. No. You're not no shame who yeah. came with like straight up bars, but because of who she is, they're gonna play her like yeah, that. Yeah, you know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. But like you've done title matches, dude. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. You're you are a yeah, name yeah. in battle rap. You got million view battles. Yeah. Motherfuckers, that's that's it, bro. You're top tier. They can't yeah. take shit away from us. <laughs> they can't take nothing. He switched from it to us. us. It's the very last yeah, second. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that whole shit was about BH until that last <laughs> part. He's like, no, no. He was us. Like, they can't Validation. take shit away from us. <laughs> Validation. That's what I want. Oh man. That's what I want. Some of uh, daylight was like, we, I was on TV. I was like, you can't quantify that shit. <laughs> you don't got the Nielsen ratings, motherfucker. Wow. You can't uh, guess how many TVs were on. In the house, no motherfucker. YouTube, <laughs> I better see a little number under your video. He wow. almost there. He's about to join the Million View Club, and then Daylight gets to be top tier too. You're welcome, Daylight. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. I remember when you had no face tat talking about Captain America, and nobody gave a fuck. <laughs> I gave him that shit. Was that amazing. was tight. I was like, yo, this fool. I can't remember his name, but that fool could rap. Yeah, but we we <laughs> we fucking, said you could get catch we've accomplished America. some some shit, Dan. Like no doubt, and, dude, and we, we performed were, in front of like ten thousand fucking people. Something what's like tight that. is like the the shit that we accomplished uh, uh, is outside of battle rap. Like yeah. it, like not just that. I mean, because every time there was a competition like that, all the Red Bull competitions, like we got checks off those fucking things. Like if we didn't go to the finals, we won our division and we got raked out for that night and shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. But the fucking the Magnum thing was crazy. Was. We went, me, this fool, Marv, Marv, Prince EA, Prince EA, and some, uh, oh, what's that? LMS. LMS from uh, Florida. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, from Miami, actually. We Last had, man standing. Man, we got to play for, <laughs> so they go, it was like, uh, it was uh, Ludacris and... Uh, Buster Rhymes and like Fat DJ Joe. Khaled, they were all doing stuff together. Sh- oh, I heard Shabba Ranks fucking performed. Dude, Ziggy Marley. That's so so we were there. No, we were there. They like they did that set, and they were like, then we want to bring out the winners of this contest, and then we all rocked like five minutes together. Yeah. And cats were like, they didn't know what to think of it because we were right there. It was like, here's Ludacris. Here's these people you never seen before. And yeah. then right after <laughs> us, we walked off stage, and the fucking Marleys walked by us like some fucking lions, dude. The yeah. whole fucking <laughs> like family. A- like, like a pride of lions. Dude, like. It was so wild to be like, wow, like that's what I'm I, I went after this and I'm going before this. I'm like, that shit ain't ever gonna happen in my life again. But There's never gonna be a moment. And you walked out there bicentennial park, ten thousand fucking people. And, and I'm like and didn't get booed. Oh bro, they lit the fuck up when you're I went I went out there and I was like dibba, 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 dibba. Yep. And yep. they were like, Oh, Oh, okay. You know what I mean? Dan, like, Dan put the cheat code in. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> you got to double time those situations, oh, bro. Yeah. Double time. But no, no, we we actually, we all, everybody got love. They didn't know what to think about Dude EA when he came out because he's like on his like super nerdy shit. Yeah. And they were like, what the fuck? But you know what? He's getting a lot of fucking like exposure right now with his little like video blogs he's doing and shit like that. I figured I he would, bro. Up, you know why? Because that kid, Prince EA, Prince EA, Prince EA. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. fucking tenacious. That and, kid, dude. That's one he, thing I met that kid and I was like, this kid wants it a lot. Like tenacious, whatever, like huh? however, like how often does that come out? You know, that's you're what very you say. tenacious. That's what you say about like dogs he's that a, like do shit really young good. Young do you remember how skinny he was, right? He was super now skinny. he's like built like fucking Chris Benoit. Shit, God, I'm like, look that little punk. Uh, <laughs> nah, I, just nah, nah. I just went on Instagram and I'm gonna go ahead and <laughs> take everything I said back. <laughs> nah, yeah, that's funny. Yo. All yacked up. Get out of here, bro. What's up just with call people? Call me a nerd to my face. Gaining and losing <laughs> muscles, man. Just stay who you are. All right. This is fucking ridiculous. We don't have time for this shit. <laughs> I don't want to have to take my insults back. <laughs> a- AKA, don't surpass me <laughs> physically. Don't take my. Don't ever surpass me. <laughs> Uh, Don't get in shape, you bro. Piece there's of a shit. picture of like us from back in the day. Daylight's got no face tat, and disasters hella like small and shit. And it's like, but it's like f- so many cycles of steroids ago, and then we're all everybody. So many <laughs> cycles. Oh of my god, <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. Dumbfounded still looks like a catfish. He's exactly wow. the same, just sitting in there, just like with whiskers hanging wow. out. Shit, that's me. Wow. My name's Parker now. Who's the um, first person to say that to him? I I thought it was you. I thought, I thought it was you, you called him a catfish. Yeah, I did call him a catfish. <laughs> <laughs> That was before like, wow. catfish was God a thing. Damn. He's like, wow, I can't believe you called him a catfish. <laughs> like, oh, wait, I was the first. Okay, I made that up. Yeah, I made that up. <laughs> um, so what do you think after you fucking uh, have... What is just bound to be a classic with young Joe Cutter? What do you... What I mean... 
Do you plan on getting back up to Toronto? You did fuck. You used to kill it in Toronto. You were the, one yeah. of the Americans that I think the Canadians there like to see. Do you want to do that again? You want to get back into international fucking yeah, battling? Yeah, I definitely want to go back out there. Um, uh, I tried to get uh, a match in blackout, but it was like a lot of uh, politics so, involved. It's a with wild that. card, right? Yeah. I mean, I'm probably just going to go up there and support it anyway because I want to see some of that shit no live. No doubt. No doubt. But um, I definitely uh, I want to get in the next world down. And uh, depending on who it is, you know. Yeah, man. Rock out. Because, I mean, honestly, a lot of people started shitting on me after the, the Poe Rich battle. I won five battles in a row. <laughs> I won five fucking and battles in a you row. An I, I, be, I, I, be, I beat the Saurus. I beat fucking Arcane yeah. and fucking Sketch Menace mm -hmm. and uh, Aftershock and Skelly, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then I lose to Poe Rich. <laughs> Fuck. That's like, all that everybody like, remembers. And then everybody's like, oh, you like, fucking ah. suck. You lost to Poe Rich. You fucking suck. How about the five fucking people that I battled to get to that fucking point? Yeah, One of them being That's fucking Thesaurus, Mr. Man. Two Times Everything. Have you met my homie Charlie Clips? <laughs> it's, like, it's kind of like, bro, you're only as good as your last one, man. And, and I fucking definitely... Like, have felt that, like, really? Y'all going to forget, like, the 30 other battles I did where I was awesome yeah. because I had one bad performance? Man, fuck y'all. But, but they, they don't even let up, though. Nah, like, like, like I, went, yeah, yeah. I, I battled Nameless after that, uh -huh. and Nameless fucking was choking and looked at his fucking phone and fucking basically read his bars off his shit and yeah. put it back in his pocket. Yeah. And, they, and, they, and then the fucking, the, the dynamic fucking... Uh, Wonder Twins of the Philippines, fucking protege and uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Enigma, fucking judged it, and one of them said, "Well, I don't really count punchlines in a battle." <laughs> oh yeah. Huh? What? I what? love those fuckers. What? Bro. You don't they count punchlines? They live what? on their own island where they're <laughs> world domination, baby. Yo, set it up. <laughs> World Both of them. <laughs> <laughs> Me versus both of you motherfuckers, yo. Oh shit, that's tough. I always wanted to battle match. that. What's that one dude that's big out there? You battled disaster out there. Oh, um, I can't fucking. Remember. But no, that was S fuck. What's oh, his Looney, name? Looney, Looney, yeah. Looney, Looney. You remember Looney. when uh, I got into it with him on Twitter once? Oh no, and, like within like five minutes, I had like. Filipino people threatening me on Twitter. Yo, <laughs> that's how it goes. They're like, yo, yeah, they're serious they're about like that don't shit. fucking. <laughs> that's how it goes, man. <laughs> like, I said some shit about a. I, I said loony. something about a nigga man him judging me, and then like all of a sudden, mad Filipinos were just hitting my Facebook page like, yeah. "You fucking suck." If you come out here, we'll slit your throat. <laughs> yeah. Like, what the fuck? Shit like Damn. that. Yo. So they like <laughs> straight up. So they like to threaten to knife you, right? Like I had gotten. You were out there, right? I, and I was threatened to be knifed like multiple times in the. <laughs> Times. The fucking the the uh, YouTube blog of me saying that I was coming out there got like ninety thousand views. And that's what I was like. Oh, this is gonna be tight. Wow. <laughs> and these fools and these fools are on the blog like I'm gonna fucking cut your throat when you come out here. Yeah. I'm like damn, like that. I was like that's fucking wild. It's and I went real. out the there. The whole country watches this. So shit. I rolled out uh, there with yeah, my boy nuts. Lucky because he had family out there. I'm like I am not gonna go solo to the Philippines. Like we're gonna figure this shit out. With, with fucking family and friends. And it was just cool as fuck. Everybody was cool as fuck. There was, like, nothing to fucking trip off. We were in some pretty, like... I remember walking through, like, streets, like, late at night. And I would see, like, dogs, like, scurrying around. I'm like, am I supposed to... Is this? It was like a gang, a gang of dogs. It just looked like... I hear like, a bad joke coming mad, right now. No, it was just mad... <laughs> a gang of dogs no, in the Philippines. They're weird-ass dogs, say? right? They have, like... They're weird. They look like dingoes and shit. But, uh... <laughs> Yeah. They were like clearly nobody's dogs. And then and <laughs> and I was like walking down the street and I was like, All dude, right. am I supposed to be scared of these things? And they're like and Nick was like, nah, they're way more scared of you than you are of them. And I was like, oh that's shit. That's even worse. Like I that's think. crazy. Like this is like mad this is the weird part ass. of the country where it's like weird third world ish. There'd be other parts where it was like hella nice. My hotel was fucking baller, bro. It was like a hundred and fifty a night and it was like some I didn't belong there. You know what I mean? Like, it was like that five-star. It was the kind of hotels that I can't afford here in America, in, in the Philippines. And I was fucking, I was on like the 19th floor and shit, all on the balcony, like, woo, with my little GoPro. Listen, if you want to reference the hood in the Philippines, watch Swave Seva's video, I'm a goon. And you will see a 14-year-old kid carrying a fucking machine gun. Yikes. Walking around with a fucking machine gun. And it was loaded. <laughs> like I heard so many crazy stories about the Philippines. Yeah, yeah, man, it's wild out there. There's definitely like we were in Manila, right? And like the further you go away from Manila, like the more gully it gets. And 
the the sad truth about the Philippines is that a lot of those fucking beheading videos and shit come from like the southern region of, of that That's country crazy. and shit. They have that there. So Damn. you could be that dude who like goes through a resort out there and gets fucking kidnapped by ISIS and gets fucking beheaded and wow. shit. So oh, shit. Not All bad. on a on a lighter note, can yeah. we see yeah. your organs? Can harvested. we see fucking Alki David versus Lush One. What? Uh -oh. Oh my God. Uh, are we really about to see what this? A bummer. The fuck moment uh, of the year. What the oh fuck moment God. of life? Of my life. There it goes. Lush is coming. Lush is coming. Hey man. Hey Lush man. Lush is coming. Lush is on. Lush is on. My boy, my boy from BattleRap.com is over there. Clearly. <laughs> What's up, dog? <laughs> What's up, dog? <laughs> did, did you see the little hop skip he did back? He called him a cunt. He called him a cunt, though. Oh, shit. There was a couple duff noises oh, in there. Oh, shit. It's doof, doof. Oh, <laughs> shit. Did you see how, how like close Lush came to throwing that punch, though? <laughs> he, so, was like, he was like inches from throwing that. Throwing that fucking right. So hook. we, those of us who have like been <laughs> up close and personal to see Lush's, uh, just incredible acting yeah. skills uh, in the uh, Andy <laughs> Melanakis versus uh, 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 Frank Stacks and L Money in, in Dirt Nasty Joint. Um, so I knew right away. I was like, this is the most ridiculous shit I've ever seen in my life. But yeah. uh, I didn't expect that anyone would expect that they would think that it was real, right? Like. Right. And that was like the whole thing is like people were like, yo, like uh, this guy, this guy's not paying all these rappers and that you, and you said he was going to pay these rappers. And now you guys are like fake fighting in this fucking office to try and like throw us off or whatever. <laughs> like they were just people were pissed. They didn't like it. But um, it was a joke, right? It wasn't supposed yeah, to be I mean, fucking. Uh, uh, I thought it was real before I saw it. Like when I just saw people saying, oh, shit, fucking lush. Fought this dude, yeah, and, yeah, I, and, and then I saw the video. I was like, he's like Get the oh, fuck out of here. Yeah. Like, yeah. all stoked. He's like, oh, yeah, fuck yeah, Lush. Go in there and fuck this billionaire up. This is yeah. what the world needs. Dude, dude, like, dude like, imagine it. Rep for the culture, Lush. Rep for the if culture. That, if that really happened, though, <laughs> that would how be fucking famous shit. would that fool be? Yo, though? forget it. It would be the illest shit. It would be like Hustle and Flow. He'd be in jail. Next level shit. Next level shit. You heard about Lush one? Free Lush. Free Lush. Yeah. Um, album drops in two weeks. <laughs> album <laughs> drops in two weeks. Fashion line in two months. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> the free lunch. Right? He was, dude. He was ready. He looked. He he was ready to go. Like he looked like it, it was some serious shit. And Alki looked extra tan for no reason. I don't understand any of this shit. Like, What's, yeah. Just, what what is the oh, joke? Just overly tan. Who is the joke on? On us, the joke was on us. I, th I feel like the joke was on <laughs> everyone the people. involved. I they I were just fucking. This is Lush's explanation. It was Alki's idea. I'm a weirdo. Y'all know I'm a weirdo. Uh, just deal with the fact that I'm a weirdo. I understand that. That's true. Uh, uh, it's real life in the world. And uh, I didn't expect y'all to take it so seriously. That was his shit. It was like, I didn't expect you guys to take it so seriously. Um, I didn't take it seriously. I just thought it was weird as fuck. Yeah, that's why I couldn't figure it out. <laughs> We're still, I'm still... I don't know who wins or loses or like how this was. It's so crazy that y'all like what through whatever beef were like, hey, hip hop DX is here. Let's do something incredibly stupid. <laughs> <laughs> they'll, they'll, they'll get a kick out of this, I think. And and you know what? I did, and the world Jamie did. Jamie was like, "What the hell?" Hey, can we see? <laughs> can we see a real battle rap fight? Because I heard that there was one of those in Miami. Really? Um, I heard oh, that yeah, battle, battle rappers rap that rap. I know and battle rappers that I never heard of uh, settled their situation on the street. What? Um, yeah. Uh, um, it was uh, what's his name? It was uh, Prontus, like who you, was you guys remember Hindu Rock? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so Hindu Rock. Uh, I guess was battling this guy Quash Quar fucking whatever. Cash I mean, Kai. Cash Kai is that how you say his yeah, name? It's fucking weird, bro. Oh uh, shit! It was an actual. They filmed it like. Oh, yeah. oh wait, wait, wait! Oh, run, run, run it back! Run it back! Run it back! Okay, so yeah. look, there's what was that? your boy Hindu Rock on the left. That's Hindu Rock. That's Hindu Rock. <laughs> That's fucking Hindu Rock, dude. What? <laughs> oh! That left though. Oh. 
Oh. This is ass whipping. Wow. And then he walks off and down the block by himself. That's crazy. Well, into, there we go. Into the moonlight. Yo. So, under the moonlight. That's ass eyes. whipping. Yeah, he fucking that went down. That left, though. Wait, that we left. Oh, oh yeah, that was great good laugh. Hey, hey, Hindi Rock said, oh, no. He said, ah. But what you got to understand is that jab wasn't even thrown with that much force. It just hit him in the right place. Yeah, because oh, yeah, well, he, he had stepped into that it, left too. That lead, yeah. though, he jumped yeah, into that. Yeah, he stepped into that he shit fucking, hella bad. That's what happened. He was happens. trying to doggy paddle it, dude. Yeah, was all bad. He was reaching for the Skyler and shit. He was like, ah. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Oh. The kicks are Break unnecessary. It, in my Break opinion. it up, Abel. I'm sorry. Break it up, Abel. What's up, Kyle? All right. So, yo, Hindu rock, though, bro. What happened to you? You went out there and you tried to. Uh, Why did you fight, though? You like, tried to catch the fair one. They were what? like, fuck yeah, this. What you know was what? It? After this battle, let's go out and fight. What I, what what? I found, what you said to be very offensive. So now I feel that we should resort to fisticuffs I think outside. I was like, was very offended by like things that Hindu rock had said leading up to the battle and was like, yo, after this battle, I'm going to fucking beat your ass outside. Is that what it uh, was? Or, and, and Andrew rock was like, yeah, we can go. We can do this. Like props to him for standing up there and fucking getting beat up. But <laughs> hey. I guess, fuck. That was hard to watch, man. Damn. Hindu rock. A left a jab dropped you. Stop my time. 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 I'm not rapping. <laughs> That's what he was saying when the shirt was over wow. his head. <laughs> like Stop, Stop my time. time. <laughs> Stop my time. Stop my time. Stop it. He was waiting for Herb Dean to come Stop in. Oh, and my God. I'm Hindu rock. Stop oh it. Hey, so God. something incredibly fucking cool happened for me. Uh, I almost wow. forgot to tell you guys about this. Really um, this shit just got incredibly real. And incredibly <laughs> dope. Uh, this is Marvel Original Sins. Hell yeah. It, uh, it's... Uh, issue five. It's original sins, not original sin. There's two fucking Marvel series. How fucking convoluted is that, Marvel? Come on. Original sins with an S at the end. Uh, it's the <laughs> fifth issue of the series on the fucking last page. Abel, can you bring that picture up? Uh, on the last page, I was notified. Oh, my God. I almost spilled beer. I was notified uh, by uh, a fan, I guess, that he had... He was like, yeah, man, I snuck you in a Marvel comic book. And I was like, Which what? Which is tight as fuck. That's and, crazy. Uh, and fucking he sent over the uh, uh, a picture <laughs> of it, and he told me what issue it was, and I fucking went and ran out and got it right away. And, uh, and it was a fucking, like a real... Uh, Marvel fucking comic book. You know what I mean? Which, which tripped me out the most. Yeah. So uh, uh, that's the picture right there. It's fucking uh, on the last page in the fucking dude's room. There's a DBDLP poster on the wall. Yeah, it's so boy. fucking gangster. It's on the last frame of the last fucking page of the comic book. So uh, uh, it's, it's pretty fucking So cool. basically, and think, are, those, uh, are those your teeth? Yeah, the, you see the gap. Oh, to think, I was shit. opposed. I was opposed to uh, to using that picture for the album cover, and you know, sure as shit, here we are. <laughs> it's in a fucking comic book now. <laughs> well, That's fun. funny, right? Yeah. yeah. I was so like, now oh, every was every like battle mouth. rapper has to step their game up now. Get or, your or shit or just in a comic Let their book. mouth game step down. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Put it on the co- Something album cover. I don't know because you guys are in a fucking Marvel comic. That shit is. I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little jealous. I am I'm jealous, a little too. jealous of I'm this jealous whole too. shit. This is crazy. As a long time Marvel fan. Yeah, this is man. Crazy. Uh, it's fucking pretty nuts. I'll, I'll put uh, in the description, I'll put uh, a link to. Uh, oh, it, the dude's name is. Uh, yeah, I was about to say. Who the is dude's it? name is Raymond Villa Lobos. Uh, he goes by. What uh, if you're getting this dude fired right now? They're like, dude, no. he put that fucking shit in the comic, that little <laughs> asshole. <laughs> Fucking the fire. fuck is that? Fucking beard and how would the they not wall? know? They printed fucking like thousands of these fucking things. Uh, Did they not ask him? The what dudes, it was? it's at Raymond <laughs> at Raymond Villa Lobos. He said, I snuck you just in like a it comic. sounds. <laughs> it's uh, not, uh, it was illegal. He, he was. I mean, to. like he basically was assigned to illustrate those last frames, and he was like, 
okay, this is a dude's room and he's a teenager. It's like a young Avenger story. So he's like, this dude is a teenager. He would have some band posters on his wall and i guess he like he must have my poster or like got it from somebody else or seen it online or something but he was does like, he really listen to you guys's music no mo i mean most definitely for i mean it's so it's such should write that into the next story it's i know that is character is 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 <laughs> i think who is it it's like i don't know draw man. dirt as like a homeless person I like I they're entering the Avengers, a store so. So yeah, it's trying to uh, sell CDs. <laughs> like you want to buy my CDs, bro? Wow! Shouts out to uh, Raymond Villalobos. He's from Stockton. Yeah, Apparently, tight. he's a fucking man. Super tight. Um, Original Sins uh, issue five, Marvel. Pick that shit up. It came out in August, so they still actually have it in comic book stores. Go so, get you uh, one. Can we see the fucking sweet ass Thug Life memes? Uh oh. Uh, uh, have you guys seen this shit? Uh, you guys seen the Thug Life memes where it'd be like the kid tying his shoelaces and the guy's like, you can't tie your shoes? He's like, you can't, fuck your bitch. can't tie my shoe, but I can fuck your bitch. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thug, Thug Life. life. Yeah, Thug yeah. Life. Okay. Yeah. So somebody uh, made one for fucking battle rap. Uh, let, me, uh, oh my God. let me go get the fucking dude's name and shit. Give him credit where credit's Damn. due. But shit is fucking hilarious to me. It's uh, uh, a... <laughs> Yo! Keep him going. Keep Whoa, him going. Let's go. That shit is too funny, bro. Yeah. The full set. I never realized that he actually physically turned shot. You like, look around. at me, bitch. <laughs> look at this one. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> what the <laughs> Yo. Yeah, his face when he just takes the last spank and just stands there oh hello proudly. God. Dude, the first oh one is the most. Yeah, yeah, that was like a grab. It's in the car. It's in the car. In the car. It's in the car. <laughs> Reed looked really upset in the last. What the fuck? It's in the car. <laughs> he was very upset. He's in the car. <laughs> he had to repeat himself. What did he say to you? Uh oh. He said, "Yeah." Oh that man. Been the last line. Oh my god. I cook MCs, and it looked like bad lamb, lamb chops. <laughs> Supper time. <laughs> <laughs> what would I say? I said I cook MCs, and it looked like bad lamb chops. Supper time. Tell me when we say next. Don't really care to be honest. <laughs> 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 That's the best one. Yo! <laughs> That's the best one of all those. That's the best one for oh sure. Oh my god! I don't really care to be honest. I gotta go subscribe to that. So that. That. I was dude's, there for that. It was dude's awesome. name is. Uh, <laughs> That's uh, if, it's Jorn Satter, like J O R N Satter, S A T T E R. No, you can't pronounce the J. Yorn? It's Jorn. 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 <laughs> Yorn, 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 Swedish. You fucking, you are the man, He's Yorn. Sweet. Yorn, that shit is fucking hilarious. Subscribe to his page. Yorn, yeah. the man. Oh, yeah. He has more than that. There was more than that on there. So there, you you haven't seen them all, but those are just I my favorite one. ones. He was Yorn to roll. He's got the one with uh, Bill Collector. Where he like touches shotgun sugar and shotgun sugar is like, I'll fuck you up. And he's like, goes back on farther. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. And uh, QP and Swave, too. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, that was so classic. QP and Swave. Yeah. As soon as he touches QP jumps up. Like, ah! Yeah, he's like, ah, it's a thug life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my uh, God. I'm torn between the. Uh, the dot mob one and the fucking um, <laughs> the Bamalam one because I'm sorry, so the Sharon one got it for me. The Sharon was so look at me, so tough. He the, was so look tough. At me when like, I'm killing he you. grabbed Shotgun Shug's arm and spun him around. Look like, at me when I'm, look at me while I'm killing me. you. He had like a slight hesitation. He was like, no, no, I'm yeah, tough. I'm, I'm I'm yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, no. 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 Shotgun <laughs> Shug. He kind of was like, oh, Shotgun no. Shug like turns around and then he starts like walking towards him and and Sharon. Stops back at, he starts backing up because Shotgun Shug's looking at him. Sharon goes, I'm killing you. I'm killing you. As if to like say, it's like he was telling himself and Shotgun Shug. It's like, I'm killing like a reassurance. I'm killing you. I'm killing you. I don't know. The T-Rex shit is this. too funny, dude. The, no, just, the look on his face when he gets his ass he's back. Like, oh. He's just like, oh, oh, The first God. one's like a, a grope. <laughs> oh, he's like, God. yes, you did. He, he's just posted up. 
The first one was a full grope. It was. That was, was like, like a, a creepy. Full grope. Wow. It, it was a creepy like a subway grope. It was a five finger grope. <laughs> that was like a Japanese subway <laughs> grope. Who does that grope. with their homeboys? Nobody. Like nobody. Situation. Nobody. Uh, nobody. I've nobody. Never, I've never like. Hey, it was like he went to we slap his ass and was like, hold up. Let me make sure I got it. Slow down. Let me make sure I got it. Okay, yeah, that's his ass. Yeah. They're like, then you're not a fucking ball team, bro. This is fucking battle rap and only one of you is doing anything. Stop touching butts. There's no excuse. For this touching is not butts. baseball, bro. Yeah, we don't dude. please don't do Fucking this. No booty butt touching. Butt so much touchers. butt touching too in one one place. <laughs> nah. Stop doing that. Nah. The whole squad was just squeezing, bro. <laughs> <laughs> the whole squad was oh, just God. out there for a squeeze, Listen. bro. Motherfuckers <laughs> are trying to make juice. <laughs> Listen, I'm, oh, I'm cool. I'm cool with Rex. So I'm cool with Rex, right and I'm cool with Mook. But that is just I, when you see that on shit. film. That's a it's a whole <laughs> different animal. Yeah, <laughs> it's a whole different animal. I'm sure there's a a, a good explanation. They took for it, it out of context. You think really? It's a good explanation for it. Context. It's gotta be a good explanation for it. He's like, hey, you got a dollar I can borrow? Oh, oh my god, he was looking for money in his pocket. <laughs> 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 it's like so, your boy checking your pocket for money. He's like, oh, dog. Let me borrow a dollar, bro. He's like, man, my the meter. <laughs> you the got meter. 75 cents? I need to get changed for the meter right now. So I got to like, make sure that these are Carson quarters. Carson just gave the creep look just now. <laughs> he said that. It's a creep oh, look. I'm like, check the front pocket again. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to be in there. It's got to be, man. Oh we can't. We, I couldn't have missed this. Uh, <laughs> this is crazy. I'm sure I had a dollar in there. What's going on right now? So let's talk about uh, uh, the battles this week. Uh, we watched three battles this week. I thought that was an adequate number. So if yeah. you got a problem with it, uh, suck on a fat baby's dick. Bitch, I watched three battles with your bitch. Bitch, I watched three battles with your bitch. Oh, I think I, I think we got that. Hold on. Is, th- is that much? a? Is there a? Three b- battles. <laughs> <laughs> with your bitch. Okay, cool. Wow, that's a button. Who was that? What, that was me. Actually, I had no, <laughs> bitch, I, I had no wow. idea that yeah. that was a button. You got a baritone <laughs> voice in you there. We have a three okay. battles button. Three battles, oh, there goes the high. That's fucking <laughs> awesome. That's awesome. I oh, thought we shit. only had a five battles button, so ah, we're good. We're set. I did that for the original Caustic and Skylar. Yeah, show. okay. Yeah, that's when we were we actually cared about things. Yeah, yeah you guys somewhere. are terrible. Bro. We've just gone. Wow. Down it's a good thing Roan like calls in to save the show every episode. It's pretty cool. Speaking <laughs> of which, the first battle is DNA. three battles with your That's and that's what Skylar does with the button. He interrupts me with the button that's because um, you get feisty, bro. DNA and so Roan. Feisty. DNA versus Roan. Oh, the Roan. rematch. Roni baby, the prince. Um. DNA brought the bomb back out. Uh, that was not a bomb. <sighs> it's like the hotel toiletry bomb. bomb. Let's talk Dude, about this. That was like because I was there for the original. That was like a, a duct tape <laughs> girdle. <laughs> I, 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 bo- I booked That's the original. True. I booked the original battle with DNA. So he was a much younger man when the bomb came out the first time, huh? He wasn't he was that much slimmer. Yeah, it was a duct tape girdle this time. It wasn't yeah. a bomb, dog. It was like DNA. A, an alarm. You the homie, but that should look wild, awkward, son. Like. It was just like, Yo, and it was like mad duct tape, like tightly wrapped yeah. around. Like, I like, I thought he was suffocating. Your himself, boy, bro. your boy, <laughs> he's, had, he's definitely gained like a, a considerable amount of weight since the last time he pulled this shit. <laughs> it looked like he was corseting. Yeah, it, ah, it looked like you had a girdle on. That's yeah. fucked up. Hey, definitely. well, can you go to the uh, the input for me? But it had like two paper towel tubes. Yeah, on the side. <laughs> like, it just smashed. <laughs> It ain't even a bomb anymore. Like yeah. this is not a bomb. That should look like a bathroom garbage can, bro. It just looked uncomfortable. Like the, like the first looked. one looked more of a bomb. This one <laughs> just like two paper towel. Oh, what was that? That was right. Where's your boy? Where's your boy? Hold oh, on. Oh my man, this is my favorite yeah. shit. Where's your boy? We're looking for a young. Uh, On stage. Young bomb vest. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> young jihad. Young jihad. Whatever one bring in the gift on stage. This freestyle off the top, I told you it's a plus one. I mean, I ain't get to do this in a while. Be front and organic in front of love. Plus one. one. Be, fr- be, be front and organic. I told you that even though you try to roam, even though your name's Rome, I'm going to show you that I'm Caesar. You, you ain't your name. Uh, I can show you that I'm playing <laughs> He doesn't like know his this, name? This, oh, okay. They've Come known on. each other what? for years. He should know his name I by mean, now. Rome, we did this in 09, and you he still can, he's still up. calling him this Rome? 
What are you fucking doing? DNA, I raised you better than that. Nah, and you still ain't grow up. This one round, I got you your biggest paid battle. I got your dough up. But since it ain't happened this time, I brought the bomb again. <laughs> <laughs> that is not a bomb. <laughs> What are you doing? They no. they would kick him out of Al Qaeda so but look, quickly. But look, but look at Cortez and Clips though. Look at them. they're like, yo, this nigga looks crazy right now. <laughs> Cortez is turning look at to the paper it. towel. Look at the paper towel <laughs> rolls. The paper towel. You have the paper towel rolls right there. <laughs> look, at look, at look right there. What's 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 in the middle uh, though? Why why is your boy doing that? Let's with guess. Towel let's towel. try like to guess what's in the middle. I think it's like the. Display of a digital thermometer for your house. What the fuck? Is it a, is it a, <laughs> a Super Nintendo Super Nintendo cartridge taped in the middle of there? Oh, okay. Nah. So, so there was one moment in this battle that I specifically wanted to point out because I think it was not only like the best barring out. Talking to the mic, dirt. Come on. I'm sorry. I, I should know how to do this better. I feel like you've done this a couple times. You know why? It's because I'm fucking trying to do this shit. When Abel was doing it, it was working so much fucking better, bro. It's my fault. I I, I got I got I got my itchy trigger finger. But um, I I clear. One on one like Champ Bailey. Think you're gonna win? You hired in John Daly. Yeah. I'll knock him out the area in like a blonde baby. Uh huh. Who sees what you stuff on like Todd Haley? Yeah. Just another bitch trying to ball like Don Staley. What? Just another bitch trying to ball. Elena Deladon. Right here. Fuck a hood boy. I've got Marines with their weapons drawn. Thirty second shootouts is nothing compared to Lebanon. They let it ring for five hours straight, just like a telethon. Bang. It's all about. I never seen him. I've never seen him before, yo. Okay, okay, okay. Stop. The point is? <laughs> so, like, that was the best yes. bar of the whole battle. Roan is killing it. Shit is amazing. Roan's who performance is, is crazy. He's the who, best hype man ever. Who the he fuck? He who doesn't, is this He doesn't guy. look at the fucking battle once, bro. He's so I don't even know. fixated on the crowd. Yeah, I don't even know if he knows where he is at he's this point. He's hammered. Here, like, throughout the battle, he shows up a few times and shit. But, dude, like, he... Yo. At, at this point right He's here. He's fucking faded. Watch <laughs> that point. Look at him. Watch him, him pointing into the crowd. Watch him. Watch him. Fuck Roan. Look at this guy. Oh, <laughs> I can see you. I see you yeah. out there. Who that, are you pointing at? Who is he? Who is he? Happy? That is he almost someone. as legendary of a point as them pointing towards the fucking rafters when fucking Martin Luther King got shot. Did you see <laughs> that this is shit? almost as Did legendary. Did you see this shit? Your boy is out here. Your boy is out here pointing for no. He just like, okay, he got a ticket. Who he paid a that? little extra money for a VIP pass. And he's like, I'm going to take this advantage to stand on the corner of the stage and point ominously <laughs> in the audience. Like, Who is he? I can't tell if it's yeah, the most Anybody in KOTD in, <laughs> in Toronto, if you know this guy, please contact Dirtbag Dan and just let us know who the fuck he is. Oh, shit. He's so fucked up. Too. There's another part earlier he's where he's like, dancing. Yo, his eyebrow game is on fleek. <laughs> his eyebrow game is on fleek, yeah. son. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Oh, my, shit. Boy, my boy is out here, though. Oh, no. <laughs> He's like, I'm going to fuck you. I oh, see you shit. out there. You. Tonight, I'm going to look at you. I'm you. on stage. You know you want but it. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> what was Charlie Clips telling Cortez <laughs> at this he moment? Like, he was like, yo, was yo, that saying? guy's pointing at like, the so one girl in the audience yo, out there. I don't know if I'm trying to rock home with Eric, man. He had his titties all out in front of everybody <laughs> out here, man. That shit kind of looked ridiculous. I don't know. <laughs> yo, can I stay in your room tonight? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's like, yo, a dude in the green is really amped, yo. He's like, ah! <laughs> he tried to, He tried to take you out. Really did, huh? He tried to take you out. He really did. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Look at your boy, Roni, baby, the prince, too. It's mad like, smooth, right? Like, yeah. it's a smooth, smooth criminal. criminal. Like, 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 <laughs> it's like a moment, like, it's like one of, like, one of them MJs just poses before he, like, blah, just That's the smooth somebody. criminal lean right <laughs> there. Nah, that shit looks like a John B. album cover. That shit. Like, <laughs> where'd it go? He said. Roan. Oh, shit. Okay, wow. so. Uh, Roan Ron easily got that battle without question. That was. Uh, Killed was, it. Yeah. Just fucking an amazing performance on, on his. And behalf. he didn't. And he didn't tape his boobs up. 
for yeah, though he to didn't look at. he didn't have a uh, a toilet paper girdle a toilet paper uh, duct tape girdle on <laughs> like no. yo hey yo tell me this don't look like it's a not so it was paper towel and, like, and everyone's like it doesn't rolls. it doesn't like, look yo, like those a were brawny yo I got a, what happened to the paper I got towels? A battle. He's like, yo, I got a battle. I don't know. I think he unwrapped How four. Did, or did he dig through the four rolls of paper towels? And just like stuffed it. Just in. To get, where did all the paper towels go? <laughs> where did they go? What did he do with them? Is that <laughs> what he like, stuffed in the middle? He's like, yo, this fucking. Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know. The the maid's gonna think I'm hella weird, dog, because I went through all the toilet paper. I should be really upset at like how he's imitating rooms. New York accents right now. <laughs> it's, it's but you know what? I'm not. I'm just gonna fall uh, back on that. Like, I'm gonna but, fall uh, back on uh, that. PH, but you know this looks like a bomb. Uh, <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> you sound it. like in between Arnold Schwarzenegger and fucking that's Wesley what, Snipes. That's like, exactly. Oh <laughs> wow. <laughs> that's like, oh, shit. That's exactly how uh, DNA sounds. He's like he grew up in front of a TV, and those are just well, like the two watching Blade prevail. and Terminator. <laughs> <laughs> it was just New Jack City and Terminator on all the time and shit. <laughs> he was like, "Oh, I'm gonna be a gangster," uh, but I got I got bionic like, weapons. Yo, it's oh, like, you, yeah, am I my brother's keeper? Uh, sure. I'm, I'm I'm made liquid. So. Sure. <laughs> So before he split, he splayed a weapon. Splayed a weapon. <laughs> I made a liquid. Uh, oh, oh. Shout the DNA though. Man. Yeah, oh, he's shit. the best, bro. He's the best sport about all this shit too. <clears throat> he's. I knew he's. I told him. I said, I knew you were gonna make me rich, <laughs> motherfucker. Uh, let's talk about Isaac Knox versus Carter Deems. Yes, Woo! let's talk about that one, please. What a battle, bro! How do you beat the the fucking? Just the powerhouse the that cat, is the cat god. He is so the cat, <laughs> the cat god, god for sure. Y'all laughing, bro. but that's just serious. That's as real fuck, shit. Yeah. How but do you I, beat that? Like, I never laughed so hard. That dude is voodoo. I will not battle Carter Deems. He's too funny. I will not battle Carter Deems. He's so fucking entertaining, man. Like I'm laughing the whole time. When and even like even when Isaac got cooking at all, when he started at all cooking. Fucking with and it his was cat all bars. thanks to cats. It was his cat bars. Then fucking Carter takes off his sweatshirt and he's wearing the fucking cat t-shirt. It, it was like a, a cat fluffy, t-shirt. a fluffy oh, white the, cat. It was like the whole t-shirt was the cat. Too. It was yeah. the Not pussiest like cat you've ever seen in your life. Like it was such. <laughs> There yeah. was no strength in this cat. It was oh like a God. fucking pillow. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm, I, I was. I was shocked at how fucking feminine it was, but it was hilarious. Like immediately, it was more. It was better than anything that Isaac had said that whole. And he round. just he he exposed it at like the perfect moment. Yeah, he like waited for like the peak of like Isaac's cat bars and then like unveiled himself. <laughs> but let's let's let's. It was amazing. Let let me be the uh, the fucking voice of reason here. Okay, yeah. Bar right. for bar. Play devil's advocate. Bar for bar. Who do you think won that battle? Bar for bar. Not talking about. I don't remember. Anti- anything. I, think I don't remember performance. anything Isaac said. And this is what I'm going to say. I'm going to Isaac Knox. I fucking love the kid. He's such a nice guy. He's the fucking nicest dude. I'm sure that the fucking like the grass and the and flowers grow at his house just like stronger for him in the morning. They're like, oh, Isaac's coming. We're gonna look our fucking best. <laughs> like he's what such a he's fuck such a fucking ray of sunshine. Fuck he is just <laughs> he is just a that fucking was, sweet. That was the craziest Holy shit I've ever shit. heard in my Where life. Where did that come from? He is a fucking ray of sunshine. But this is this kid. Like, is the prime example of, like, you could be the best rapper in the world and it not matter at all if you're fucking vanilla pudding. You know what I mean? If you go out there and you're like, I'm lyrically ripping this miracle flipping. I'm th- Get the fuck out of here. Dude, what did he say? What was, yeah, what was he had he a line? Isaac didn't like do that. that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. What was it? What did he say? What, he did, said did the. You, did you did you take notes on that one too? Uh, no, he said he said the rhythm element to me. Yeah, the rhythm yeah, element. Element to OP. Me. I make it rhythm elementary. <laughs> Simple <laughs> as element OP. Like, oh shit! Bro. Oh. He literally Bro. says that. How are you competing that with like I talk to girls? They say this is not a date. <laughs> <laughs> Pulled the fig out of his pocket. This, this is a fig, fig. Not, not a date. date. Dude, like, Yo, my favorite line that he said was, uh, <laughs> that's what missiles do. <laughs> <Yeah, laughs> exactly. That was 
killer. Right, he just kicked that off right killer. away. That's what missiles do. I will never battle you. Oh, dude. Ever. Dude, I, would, I, I feel ever. like I have to before it's over. What about, I, yeah, what about I before to, it's all said that and makes, done? That before I'm done, I feel even, like. Even before he starts, he shouts out all these turtles and shit. Yo, <laughs> that's crazy. No, I have like no problem losing the car to Yeah, he's hilarious. He's oh fucking too God. funny. I'll take that loss. I don't think I could do that. See, and I don't even think like to I him, he, it would, he would even think about him beating you. It's like, hey, we became friends. Yeah, yeah like. Let's build sand <laughs> castles. I'm in it for the friendship. I'm yeah, in like, get you a matching here. sweater Let's and shit. Let's build cat castles out of sand. <laughs> get you a matching sweater. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, I knitted this out of cat hair for you. Oh, Ooh. my God. Carter yeah, Deems is like that fun. dude on the commercial with the kitten sweater. I'm sorry. Carter Deems is the Norman Bates of fucking battle. Yeah, he probably you got so? bodies, He's spooky. Bro. He's like, fucking spooky. Like, yeah. Bo- bodies spooking. in the trunk. He's like asexual and shit, or he has like no like. <laughs> he's sewn cats together to make himself a female, like yeah, dude. for his house. He's a furry. My dude. girlfriend's made of cats. He's a fucking Whoa. furry for no! sure. Like he oh wears like God. a fucking he wears like a girl cat suit and gets scritched on and shit by like <laughs> weird <laughs> d- weird like what the creeps. Fuck is that? That's Thanks for ruining my angles, guys. Oh That's what God. furries do, bro. Why they do get, you know that? Because I'd be watching weird shit sometimes, wow. bro. What's hey, up? dude, there was fucking furries at iguanas the other oh! day. What's there was fucking oh, four oh, of dude, them. Dude, me and Skyler were at Iguanas. Boxes and Listen they were to this. Together. Oh, yeah. But shouts dude. out to Iguanas being the best Straight Mexican up. food restaurant. That burrito wars are over. Orange sauce is everywhere. Iguanas wins. So igu- we're at Iguanas. <laughs> It's real shit. Uh, it's San Jose sauce. We it's now <laughs> Orange sauce We've is now called San Jose sauce. It's on. Wow. It's on. 408. This is some Zay sauce. So look, <laughs> Zay um, sauce. I'm going to tell you right now. We were in there, and this guy straight comes up. in, and he has a tiger hat, and you better fucking believe he's got tiger straight tattooed Full skin that his whole arm body shit. tiger, tiger suit tattooed, tiger. tattooed, and he just walks in like a normal fucking like I'm just gonna I'm that fucking. doesn't look like a normal walk. Bro. Right. It was, that yeah, walk he just like, did. He, was normal. Normal he didn't do that. Yeah, that was, was that walk was not normal. Too. No, he did. He had a sleeveless <laughs> shirt on and a, and a fucking and a yeah, fanny pack too. Of course, he had a sleeveless shirt on. He has his whole arms were. Fucking tiger tiger. Yeah. He, has he had it on the back of his neck too. What? Yeah. yeah. So we're imagining that his whole back. I didn't go like, "Hey, bro." He thought he was. Let's tiger. go in the bathroom and see how deep this tiger face tattoo? goes. Does he see, have, but, what, what was on he, his face? And then you looked at me no. and you're like, "Is that?" Is he was that a like person normal? on normal. Do you see that? I was like, like, you, it's no. kind of like, I've never done that. He's like, I've no. done like little bits of like cheetah, cheetah or, yeah, like to fill in like, print or but whatever, I've never but cheated some bitches back. Yeah, I've never just, turned, I, never turned some dude with orange and black wow. into a fucking tiger or you're lizard. You're going to be or, a tiger now, Todd. And he's like, a, probably like a it's 40, crazy to 40, just, 50, uh, probably like 50, 55 year old, just white dude with tiger stripes, tigered out with his tiger life. Imagine you ask him a question. He just fucking growls at you. Or he goes, he goes <laughs> like, great. Great. It's like yeah, Carter dude, Deems yeah. is my What's favorite name, battle. Tony? <laughs> Probably, um, if his name Carter was probably I, I would put money that his name was Tony. Tony, right? Tony. The hey, what's up, hey, what's Tony. up, ladies? My name's Tony. Rao. Rao. I put my scent right over there. <laughs> if you want to check it out. Tony the fucking tiger. Okay. Uh, okay. So Carter Deems is unbeatable. I think so. I'm cool with that. Cool with that. I, yeah. cool that. I accept that. I'm cool with he the, does admitting that <laughs> and, and saying that. Until I Isaac battle. Knox comes back with the face tat, I'm not. Li- I I'm sorry, dude. You're just not gonna win any battle. If, if Jesus, Isaac Knox Jesus got a face tat, it would be like face. a fucking like a gold star, like a big gold star. Wow, like, like, like Dazzler. <laughs> like Dazzler. <laughs> like Dazzler. Like it would be like a big gold star <laughs> for, for like one of the like, one of the uh, <laughs> the band members from Gems. Yes. Or whatever. Yes. What if he just went through like a bad That's like nine outrageous. months and came back just hard as fuck and all that like ill rapping ability he had would be coupled with like this like hard this three months he lived in the tenderloin where he like got it and cracked it. It's like on it's some not like a good place. on some like basketball <laughs> court and, and like all the way down to like to the point where he was like selling his body selling his bot out in there. The TL, yeah. though? I know how tough you come back from that, bro. And then he's just like three oh, months of hooking in the tenderloin. I feel Is like, that what you oh. said? That's oh when God. his life turned around. I feel like you know, he like, that's a hard got, three months. He's yeah, got a few teardrops, bro. It's not hard. Here. Like, oh, my God. He had to fucking do some work. It's not always female clients. You know what I'm saying? Wow. <laughs> I would fuck with your shit if that was the case, This Isaac. is terrible. Can we stop talking about this, <laughs> I think I feel Yo, uncomfortable. Right? Can I just say what's super tight? Is, uh, this is the gayest episode of the Dirtbag. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Hey! I'd, I'd like to stop discussing oh this. My God. Oh, that's weak, bro. We didn't even get... We need to get all the gay homies like, and have thanks, the gay PH. Nah, 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 <laughs> fuck out of here. Thanks, PH. It's your boy that bought all this shit up. Oh, it has God. nothing to do with me. Yes. He writes all the material, this guy. Dermag <laughs> I'm just a fucking guest. Well, I'm learning from daylight, bro. We're trying oh, to get some fans no. out here. Oh, so we're just gonna talk about to get some fans out here. I'm going to show my dick. Uh, uh, um, don't co-sign this Moving on. Uh... Moving on to a couple of fat guys I know. Uh, Charlie Clips versus Marv One. Shouts to Charlie Clips not being as fat as Marv One when I met <laughs> Marv One, but now, like, you know what I Almost mean? Almost there. They're, they're like damn near the same person now. Uh, real funny guys, bars, and fat. Uh, who do you think won this one? This one was weird to me. I felt like. I gave it to Marv. I felt like the first, I think the what Marv, d Clips did the thing. I thought Marv won, but Clips did the thing to make everyone think that Clips won right off the bat, where he was like, you just tried your fucking little yeah. heart out on I a fucking little one-round fucking battle. You, you are fucking foolish. And in that like moment, everyone realized, they're like, oh, shit, at the end of the day, Charlie Clips is still going to be Charlie Clips, and Marv One's still going to be Marv One. So like, who really wins? You know what I it mean? Was, it was funny for that half a second, though. It, I, that was it. I think I, I think that it was another situation where uh, Charlie showed up and tried to freestyle his way out of. Yeah, a, I think uh, no, but he kept reiterating. I swear, it's all freestyle. I swear, this is all freestyle. Yeah, yeah. And it was and just then, like, and then you do that shit forever, man. And then you do man. hella clean bars. Yeah, just like yeah. continuous multis, just like. And it was like, mm, no, it's mm. not. All, I didn't. I didn't think it was all freestyle, Charlie. I'm sorry. Yeah, sorry, seemed, Charlie. It seemed a little, and, and we it, wouldn't have even cared. It's like freestyle, but it's like it. shit that's like not happening currently. I yeah. like it when you win because I uh, lost to you, but what, I can't give you this. What one. was the thing you said that was wrong, Caustic? You said, um, what? you said, oh, uh, the Marvin Hagler line. Oh yeah, Marvin Hagler put down Hitman in the second round, man. Not the first round. They Ooh. had a they had a classic first round. They slugged it out. Yeah. Wow. So and Hagler went down, or uh, Hitman Hearns went down. Damn, in the second. you just got your boxing shit. <laughs> Tish push, pushed Tish back, Tish. Holmes. <laughs> and, and, the and there we go again. Look, and this, I mean, this battle was it was like it was. I watched a lot of things. boxing. Whatever. Like if it doesn't go down <laughs> uh, in fucking the URL or in KOTD, it doesn't matter. And I feel like people act that way. Marv clearly didn't. Marv was like, I'm gonna put on for my city. He was comfortable in, as fuck. Yeah, he were, they're in Detroit. Fucking uh, Quest Marv McCody. Was snapping whether or not he Quest was in McCody, Detroit. What he the was fuck is it. wrong with you? You look like like some weird but, like off-brand Morpheus out there. Like, oh, fucking, shit. <laughs> what's going on with your hair and wearing glasses inside and just it just wow. was. You look like Encino Man, bro. It looked like <laughs> Encino Man. <laughs> What's good with that? What's good with that, though? I have Quest? No Holler at me. One. Holler at me, Quest. I have no comments it's, cra on that. it's crazy for you to look like that, and then just Marv be so pristine with like the, like the most perfectly with shaped the, beard. Yo, holy yeah, shit. Marv, totally. with the afros, we came, yeah, we came to the decision that your your beard is just like the cleanest it's beard out there. So it's, it's that motherfucker. The cleanest bro. beard. It looks like it was drawn with a Sharpie. Yeah, yo, but it wasn't. No. Yeah. And it's it was, hair. And it was glistening. It's that hair. Shit is, it was glistening. You're barber, bro. Fucking it was Did you spray your beard with some sort of like? Yeah, dude. It's like got some like fucking beard polyurethane, like some stuff like or crazy. Like, like, some barber is so proud right now. He's fucking. Barber's like, dude, I am the best. He's the, Shout he's out like, to your beard. Hold on. Shout out to your beard. I'm gonna barber. make this motherfucker shine today. You ready to have a shiny beard? He's like, yeah, I'm ready to have a shiny beard. He's like, motherfucker, you gonna shine today? Watch. <laughs> Walk out of there. <laughs> Talking to me. Yeah, yeah, you ready? He's like, hold shine? on, stay still. <laughs> Hey, why is it? He's like, I'll be right back. <laughs> Goes to the back, looks in the safe, gets the fucking special the container special out. Bottle. Shit, fucking <laughs> unlocks the special box, gets you the special container out. You shine today. A monk comes in, they do a little prayer. And that's, coming he takes from, it that's coming from people with beards. Like, yeah. My beard ain't never been lying like that. It yeah. would look ridiculous. That motherfucker, like, I'm telling you, it looked like a dude went in and was just like with a cookie cutter. Just was like, boop. All right, yeah. cool. Let's get rid of this shit. Keeping that. That should look like a creative player option on a video <laughs> game. Oh my god! Wow. So Marv wins the beard war. The he's, he's his beard was cleaner. And he he was fatter, battle. and he won the battle. So killing it. Shouts to him. He probably going to die faster too. So 
Fuck yeah, Marv. Get him. Damn. <laughs> what the fuck? Yo. Oh, no. Wow. No. All right. Well, <laughs> really? There we go. God, God forbid. God forbid. Really? I'll throw that are. out there. Put some positivity Heaven in the world. I love Marv. He's my favorite. I feel oh, like man. Marv's We went to Miami together. Why would you say some he shit like me, that to he him? He owes me a fucking dinner for sure from Miami because I do remember paying. So So if, you wish death upon no, him? No, no. I just okay. said. didn't pay you like, back for I dinner? Remember. I'm just saying. some bullshit. I'm saying statistically based on. Sorry. Based Woo! on my I'm, voice, I'm good. You got to heat it. We uh, need it. Yeah, no, we need it. You brought it back down. Uh, <laughs> we're here again. I <laughs> based on pounds. That was just based on pounds. I, I based love them both. Pounds. Based you on know, pounds. I wish. You know, I wish Ch- death on Charlie Clips way more than Marv one. You made me look you, like a fool. Stop Why are you wishing death on? Yeah, you're I, terrible. I, look, I wish death on all of you guys at least what? once Yo, a year. Fuck just like you for a minute, just be like and everything you stand man, for yeah. in life. PH made me look like a fool <laughs> yeah. in New York. Out that fool slips and falls Please, in the shower. Come on, you don't shit. care about what? that shit because you think you won that battle. No, I don't. Yes, I don't. you do. Yeah, I do. You <laughs> really do. <laughs> <laughs> you think I don't watch the show? I think, we lost, I think we lost. How many times you've mentioned that? I think we all lost that battle. That's what. That's how I feel. I don't know. It. I think I won that battle. Okay. I, I remember the judges saying you won, so it's pretty fair that you said What did the shit. comments say, though? Like, I have to. The comments said, this shit They sucks. hated us. They hated ah, both of us. It was, all, URL, it was all URL. This is the worst battle since Mook ever. versus Iron Solomon. Yo, they, they just shitted did. on us that so That happened bad. after Mook and Solomon? Yes. Uh, yes, it did. Yes, yes wow. it did. And they shit it on us heavily. Yeah, it was pretty bad. Yeah, Both was, of us. It was pretty terrible. So, um, how many views is that at? It's at like seventy thousand. <laughs> no <laughs> on the way. URL channel. It gotta be, or, or maybe look that up. That's I pretty tight. I think I think it's like close to that. Let's look that up. Uh, uh, Here, I'll those, look it up right now. Those were the th- uh, three well, battles of the week. Numbers on That's YouTube like a hollow right blog. <laughs> That's like a hollow <laughs> blog. Right, 40, 40 or, or, or 70. <laughs> no fucking way. Don't, don't, dude, don't do me like that. <laughs> and it's 69. It's all because you. It's because you. It's your fault. It's your fault, it's motherfucker. Your fault. Who if got there, more views? If there was Fuck. no white boy in that battle. <laughs> Oh, Damn shit. it! If it was me versus so uh, whatever, <laughs> if I if I would have dressed He's like Mexican. if I would have dressed like Mr. Peanut like fucking Solcom, we would have got hella fucking views. That's what I fucked up. Next time, do that. I should have fucking came out in the top hat. <laughs> you should have wore that bear costume we had. Hey, if I ever go on URL, <laughs> guess what? What? I'm Mr. Peanut, like Mr. Peanut, full white top hat, bro. <laughs> oh Y'all God. like this, huh? I got a monocle. Go. All right. Um, <laughs> Uh, let's do these fucking viewer Dress video questions like before we get B-52s the fuck out of here. And shit, yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, Abel's on the shit. We got v- viewer video. What's up, guys? Qu- the Dirtbag Dan Show. It's Pellet shooting your question all the way from the Pellet. Star. Oh, look, now, it's I Pellet. I wanted to ask this question before you did the stuff about Alki David in, in episode 46. Yeah. Um, so the question it's only going to be one ear. Can you hear it all? What's your opinion on third parties coming in and sponsoring battle events whether it be Alki or even and releasing the battles on film on the Phil Bond page uh, in my opinion Phil Bond? I've always watched battles on King of the Dot and Don't Flop and I didn't really catch any of the ether battles except for the one except for Caustic of course Fuck um, yeah, yeah. and yeah like I think it was, is taking one. away from the scene a lot <laughs> and I just wanted to get your opinion and um Shouts out to Dirtbag Dan and Caustic for getting me in the shit with my girlfriend all the time because I only play your music in my car and she's getting <laughs> pretty annoyed with it. Tight. <laughs> Shouts out to that. Wow. Tight. <laughs> wow. That's tight. Punch a, punch a, uh, punch a cone for me. All my, all my Australian homies punch know what a, I'm Punch about. a Billy, yo. Punch a Billy, yo. Um, but uh, for real, Pellet, I agree. Uh, I think Battle of the Bay is a prime example of... Some off-brand motherfuckers coming in uh, to some other people's territory who don't really have a firm understanding of how uh, the shit works. Yeah, I'm fucking saying it. I don't give a fuck. I'll just fucking say it. You fucking book <laughs> battles like Swave 7 versus Ness Lee. Look, I love Swave. I love Ness. I think they're both great fucking battlers. But do you think anybody in the Bay Area wants to see that battle live? Like is paying tickets to... Because th- that's the fucking point for a live event. That battle should happen, right? But it should happen in New York. It should happen in Atlanta. What you've done is you took... 
an opportunity for a Bay Area artist away to battle one. Maybe, you know what? Maybe have Swave come out and battle someone from the Bay, and then maybe have Ness come out and battle from someone from the Bay, and it fucking costs the same amount of fucking money, and you have that much more content. But that's instead, what Battle of the Bay used to be. About. Right? Yeah. Yeah, that's what, and we used to do it regionally too. We yeah. come out to New York, and then we battle all of y'all. All the yeah. Bay guys come out. All, we go to Toronto, and then we went to Toronto, and everybody would battle, right? Like that was the, Toronto was a place where everybody could come out and face off with everybody. But once it becomes about putting together matchups versus like catering to the actual market that you're battling in, the live events are going to suffer. And fuck, maybe that needs to happen. Maybe because Battle of the Bay 7 is on a Friday afternoon and it costs $50 to get in, maybe Jesus there's going to be fucking, maybe there's going to be 70 to 100 kids there. Good. It's going to be the best fucking battle footage you've ever seen. It's Hella be like ill. Battle of the Bay fucking too red shit. cameras <laughs> floating around. The audience is going to laugh at every bar because those motherfuckers really came to see the battle. Yeah. And we're going to be doing some sharp out. ass fucking pay per view. So fuck it. You know what I mean? Like, at the end of the day, maybe I'm wrong. And maybe the right thing to do is, is fucking uh, have shitty events so that the fucking <laughs> online footage is great. But in defense, I just think in that defense of the, the, the Swave Ness battle, that was a battle that was already booked previously in New York and didn't go down yeah. due to some reason yeah, yeah, it didn't yeah. happen. So I think this was just a case of, hey, there's an event going down and these guys both already having bars for each other and it's like, fuck it, let's just do it there. Yeah, it's you just know, we ain't there I, yet. I think you got an, a, we you, ain't there yet with you, battle rap where we could like sacrifice opportunities for different battlers in each market because y'all wouldn't want that for anyone in New York if it was in New York. Y'all wouldn't want that for anyone in Atlanta if it was in Atlanta. You know what I mean? There would be battlers, and I mean clearly, dude. How many people? I ain't talking about me. The reality is, is if I wanted to be on that card, I would have fucking put myself on that card. And a lot of times Woo! in battle rap, that's what you have to do. You, you have what to the fucking. Fuck said. No, I'm saying. That if I was like this fool hit me on Twitter With today authority. and was like I'm sorry I put didn't put you on the card I made a mistake. Who said that? The fucking dude Teddy Grizzle. He fucking hit me on Twitter like yesterday. Fuck it. I'll fuck I'll fucking put it on the screen. Oh, uh, oh shit. But um airing <laughs> out your apology. Uh, he put, it, put it on blast. Twitter. He didn't send it to me in a fucking private message. He sent it to me publicly. That's all good. Dude said I'd rather just look at this dude. He's pretty cool. <laughs> Regardless, dude said that he was sorry or whatever. He didn't put me on the event. That's fine. Like I said, if I wanted to be on the event, I would have been because I would have found myself an opponent. I would have taken the necessary steps to make sure that everybody was, you know, properly compensated for the fucking, you know, situation and that it made sense for everybody. And you know what I mean? Like, that's what sometimes as a battle rapper, that's what you have to do. Uh, am I on the screen? or what? No, the Warriors we, game. Are we checking like... Basketball scores right now. Who won? <laughs> hey, oh, can wait. you hit up the input, Abel? Wait, click the Golden State Warriors one to see who won. Huh? See who won. Like they weren't up by thirty. When no, we uh, uh, I wanted to. I wanted to put something on the screen real fast, but don't worry about it. But basically, dude just said, "Hey, DBD, I wanted to apologize about not having you on the Battle of the Bay Seven card. Mistake on my part. Salute. See you there in the Bay. Yeah, I I'm got. I gotta say one thing. I don't think he's like a fucking like." Like a a bad dude or anything. Not at like all. That. I don't you think he's a saying? bad dude either. I think he's he's a fucking he's he's a fan that you know he's paying for shit that you know he wants to see and that he thinks that you know some fans want to see, which I don't I don't mind. I think when you when you start fucking shit up like real bad is when you have to take a step back and yeah. be like, listen, maybe I, I haven't seen that from him yet. You know what I'm saying? Well, I like, think he doing operated. Doing the desert, I thought, was was pretty good. Some of the battles were I think, I think that was. I think it was a great event. Yeah. I think it was him operating within his own region, and he did a fucking yeah. great job of doing it. Yeah. I think that when you step out and you try and book shows regionally, you got to be conscious of the environment, or you wind up in situations where a day before the event, you have to apologize to people because you feel like you might have made a mistake in, in how you booked. Like, that shouldn't be how yeah. anybody books an event. Like, you shouldn't be worried about, like, man, what, why I shouldn't have booked this guy. Or worried about me, like, I'm upset at you, like, you didn't book me. Like I said, I would have made it happen. I made, you know what, I made something different for myself happen that I'm really happy about is I'm going to be broadcasting the pay-per-view. Uh, I think that I'm a natural fit for that shit. And if this battle shit really is going to progress, someone needs to step up in that role and be there to make these pay-per-view 
things watchable between battles. People, mm. I've done, I've watched these pay per views. They fucking suck between battles. When they're done well, it's awesome. But even like, like the UW uh, Lux and Hollow event, which I think was the f- like the most well conducted pay per view event that I watched. The fucking pay per view, pay per view, the shit, the shit in between the battles was ridiculous. It was fucking silly. It was stupid. <laughs> Many and Pacquiao, it was a lot of times. It was just downtime. <laughs> so like, if we could make that, if we could streamline that process and make that pay per view thing more watchable, <laughs> if we can put that pay per view, I can beat you, Floyd Mayweather. Let's get the next question. <laughs> 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 under the pay per view. Sorry about all that like crazy ranting, but I agree with you. Woo! Takes I think away that's how you it. get a fucking I question think it answered. Does, I think it does depth. take away from it. If <laughs> we're gonna nothing, everything great that we've done in battle rap, smack, uh, fucking king of the dot, grind time, uh, don't flop. Everything great that any of these leagues have done, they've done on their own. They didn't do it with the help of some other fucking company. The best events weren't the ones that were sponsored. I mean, clearly, like, Ether wasn't the best event, and a fucking billionaire was behind that. And he threw a bunch of fucking money away. Like, Fab was over here today saying, yo, if that dude made as much money as he made, he just showed everybody in the world that you could make that much money off Battle Rap. All you got to do is not have your fucking overhead be $300,000 because you're paying some overinflated actor and you're paying for fucking ring car girls and a bunch of shit you don't need. But if you do it right, the fan base is there to the fucking tune of $180,000 or some shit like that for an event. Like, that's good for motherfuckers that are winning Grammys and shit and coming through to play the HP if they're covering that much. You know what I mean? Like, fools are making good money like that off battle rap. That's a a good thing. Like, granted, these fools didn't make money because they spent money on dumb shit, but... Oh! You spilled the beer! Finally. I'm restless. Abel, uh, can I have another one, please? Abel, this questions. This is fucking ridiculous. Abel, questions, please. I'm sorry. Yo, DBD one. show. It's the Irish Rasta. I got my friend with me, the co-host of the Irish Rasta question time, the New Zealand Rasta. If I can, not up to standard. Yo, we're coming at you from Buenos Aires. We're fucking over here traveling around South America. So the next few questions that we do will be coming from you. Uh, but the question I wanted to ask this week, guys, was in battle rap, do you think it's more important these days for people to actually like try and battle with how complex their battle their battle rhymes are and trying to have triple fucking septuple entendres and fucking <laughs> amazing gun bars or it should be more about actually mocking your opponent fucking breaking them down and making them look like a piece of shit uh, personally i miss fucking people bullying the fuck out of people i think that was fucking i think that's him because everything else sounds sound, still sounds normal peace you're the man fucking uh that's Liam, the Irish Rasta, uh, who's That's all the crazy. way all the way out here in uh, in Buenos Aires, sending us a question. Um, the question was generally, uh, do we think like these crazy like triple entendre, uh, super intricate, uh, very lyrical bars are more valid in this day and age than just simply making fun of your opponent effectively, which is what the core of battle rap was. And he uh, tends to be leaning towards like the just making fun of your opponent. Um, I think, I think that I, I would be a sucker to say like, I'm better at the making fun of people part. Right. So it's easy for me to be like, Oh, making fun of people. That's the way to go. No, I think that the fucking, I think that I get hella entertained when dudes like, Rum Nitty or like B Magic, you know what I mean? Or just like on some crazy bar shit. Like I'm super entertained by that. So it would be stupid for me to say that. Like I think it I comes in like waves it, you know? too. Like what's who's popular at that moment for what that person's yeah, doing? Yeah, you yeah. know, like because we all know Daylight's got bars, but like why he's famous for his antics. So it's like I think you need both. You know, I think you yeah. need it's both. Not like you, yeah, you, you have to have you have to be even with it. Like to me personally i mean the only person that can get away with just you know being like that is carter deems i think that yeah exactly <laughs> yeah, no yeah. you're absolutely right he raps right about, now right he doesn't now, rap about it. fucking anybody for the whole thing it's just like shit about him and how quick he can cook lean cuisines and, and shit two microwaves and two microwaves and he's fucking indestructible dude yeah it's tight. that's really good man i'm really i impressed. really feel like he does have two microwaves Super entertaining. he's gotta he have two does. microwaves he probably does but yeah you definitely need to even it out i think you know, it can't be too much of one thing in my opinion, you know what I'm saying. I well, totally I, agree. I think that it just depends on who it is, too. You know, like well, Dan d- does both. Like he fucking clowns dudes, and then he does his fucking cheating ass double time shit. 
that nobody else can yeah, do. Yeah, yeah. But I think that in general, like, I get pegged for the jokey shit because that's the shit that people like more. And it's funny because, like, we do what we think people like more from, you know, we look at our past performances and we go, okay, these were the effective things. So I become, over the years, I become more of a kind of, like, big punchline joke battler than, like, someone who was really, like, Technical. dude, if you remember, like, if you look back at me and, uh, fuck, uh, what was my second battle? Uh, I have no idea. Uh, satire, <laughs> sorry. Uh, I have uh, no idea. Me and satire, <laughs> like, I was saying, like, I was doing, like, my real, like, uh, fucking multi shit. You know what I mean? Like, that, if that, I think that's an example of me, like, rapping, rapping, rapping. And uh, it's different every time for me, man. I, it's like, you know, however it comes up, it comes out. You know what I mean? So. Like, people tell me to, people still hit me up and be like, you should rap like how you rapped in the 24 7 battle. I'm like, dude, I, <laughs> I couldn't even, like, I couldn't set out to do that. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I can't rap. Like, I, I can't take myself back. I think you've gotten better years. at doing both, also, though. Like, you know, like, your, your flow is definitely different than how you used to rap. But now you still have your jokes, but they're just more serious jokes to me. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. How you say it is more, your cadence is more serious, but people laugh at it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's funny. Yeah. Well, you got to, you know, you got to I, I do it because I, like I like to laugh. Like that shit you said about Averb, about his hair and his shirt. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> Yo, dude, that shit. Yo, but your face was almost like you were so serious when you said it, and then you, you realized how funny it was. <laughs> you <see? laughs> You're like starting to crack up yourself. And that, shit, that shit was funny. Yeah, you got to do what works is the moral of the yeah. story, but I think that uh, you, you play can't your, discount. Play your strengths. Don't. I, don't, I think we can't discount like the super lyrical shit because I think everything that, uh, works. Everything, like that shit works clearly. Lyrical, be, miracle. And that's why it's very prevailing. In, in, the in rhythm element to me? Oh element God. as easy as element op shout out to isaac knox you ready shout out to elemental the, the, the sunshine what do you call him sunshine ray of sunshine fucking little sunshine. ray of the fucking flowers, the flowers are more beautiful like, for him isaac's and coming Graham show this is uh logan from canada aka uh walrus porn stars twin brother uh shout out to that uh, amazing drive through question he had there they're battling uh, also each shout other. Shout out to Skylar G. He's the best. He's the best at what he does. All right. He's an all star. Skylar, you're the greatest. Okay. You know, YouTube would be shit without Skylar G. Pretty much. Now I'm feeling a little bit Anyways, of sarcasm here. Anyways, my questions for so anyone who gives a fuck. Uh, what's the craziest thing you've ever the seen? Craziest thing besides your battle camera. That's not been on camera. Like maybe before YouTube. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe somebody got fucking Hadouken uppercutted in the tit, or somebody got their fucking the ear bitten off, or bitch slapped, or something crazy that, uh, you know, nobody's hmm. ever heard of on YouTube, and it's just an old story you got, or whatever, you know, what's, what's something crazy? Well, I mean, it's... And oh, I know more. who Young Duck is. Oh, my God. figured it out. No, who don't. is it? Ready? You ready? No, Wait, you ready. Don't. Nobody come knows. On. Come on. It's Skylar G. <laughs> He's going to come out. Sorry. Skylar G's going to come out on the 50th episode. He's going to take off the fucking uh, <laughs> fake glasses and nose. I'm going to pull my face off and be Young Duck. Store, and there's going to be Young Duck underneath all that. I, I figured I wish, it out. Man. Uh, so shout out again to Skylar G. <laughs> You're a sneaky one. You're a sneaky one. <laughs> And uh, that's about it. I'm a sneaky Shout out one, to huh? your 7X hoodie. All right, man. <laughs> Shout out to that. Yeah, yeah. What's up? You're swimming in that fucking <laughs> yeah. what's, what's up with the screen? Like, his, his camera kept going into, like, funhouse mirror <laughs> mode. Um, Logan, I don't even know. Your question was so fucking weird. I can't so even remember. Oh, what was the weirdest thing I've ever seen? Honestly, to this day, like, the dude who in Canada rolls around with the bitch on the leash with a mask with a fucking face mask on. Like, what? she's wearing a gimp mask and a fucking leash on her neck. And he just shows up to events with this bitch. I remember when you danced. He's when like, this is my you were, slave You were person. battling reverse live and you started dancing and he was trying to rap, but your dance threw him off so bad he yeah. couldn't even rap. Because okay. you were just like doing the worst That's like, a dance good story. So ever. this is what happened. This is, and no, this is official as fuck. And it was a, came out. It was a scribble jam preliminary battle it was, and it, it was the 
like semifinals. It was like me in reverse and then someone else and someone else to go to the finals. And um, I fucking was battling reverse and he was hella serious. And then I was just like, <laughs> you're fucking fat. You're fucking fat. And then I just start. And then like during his rounds, I would just do the running man hella. And then what I started doing is I started doing the kid and play. And I was effectively, I jumped over my foot and everyone was like, oh. And then I was like, yeah, at a point. And I jumped back over my okay. foot. What, year, like, what oh! year was this? Like 2008. It was right before the first grind time battles happened in 2008. Like it was a month before Wait, the first so grind time. Wait, so did I host that? Okay. No, it was in... Uh, it was, in, uh, it was in it was in Oakland. It was in Oakland. Oh, it was a okay. it was a scribble preliminary. Oh, pr- a prelim, like the okay. winner got yeah. uh, uh, flown out to do the last scribble jam okay. ever, which was in 08, right? Yeah, I believe so. so. That oh, 09. Okay, think, so yeah, I it was tried to do the worm or something towards the end there. Maybe. I did. It wasn't Jesus working out, but I did do effectively. Did and the, he couldn't rap. He like literally like was like I won I the just, battle uh, simply just, because Reverse Live was beat by my dancing. That's an amazing story. I think uh, this is bad dancing. I think uh, one of clarify. what was it? One of QP's baby mom is getting hit with the fucking camera. That Ooh. shit was wild. And then she, and then QP flagged down the cops. And then yeah, QP and was oh like, God. "Police, help! These women are fighting!" Oh God! And it was just it was crazy. It was wow. a very surreal moment in my. Uh, shit was crazy. I ha- yo, someone was like, "Did that motherfucker just call the cops?" Can I tell you that this motherfucker? I just. I just battled madness in Florida, right? We battled on Grind Time. It was a tournament. Yes. QP was supposed to battle uh, Getcha from Florida. QP drove all the way yeah. from the Bay to, to Florida. Florida. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. Yo. For the battle? Yeah, for, Just the, for battle. the battle. It didn't for make what? it and got disqualified because he oh, didn't make man. it inside. Man, I'm in Texas, man. <laughs> yo. Where was he? Where was yo, he? Yo, yo. Like, hey, yo. it was the day of the battle. It was the day of the battle. I'm with Matt Ills, and Matt is like probably like 3 o'clock or some shit, right? And fucking we all have to be at the venue at 5, and QP hits him up. He's like, yo, um, I'm in like in Alabama somewhere. <laughs> 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 He's like, dude, you're like 11 hours away. You're not going to make it. He's like, no, I'm going to make it. I swear I'm going to be there. He's like, you're not going to make it. Dude, he didn't get there until like fucking 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, and it was too late. The dude, this fool fucking uh, this fool showed up Damn. to his don't flop uh, battle in Atlanta a day late, and then they battled in like Sunny Bamboo's house. Because he drove. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All the way crazy. to Atlanta, yo. Why did you get on a fucking plane, bro? Because he can't. Oh, you can't bring them drugs on a plane. I see. I got to bring all this shit. Yo. That and multiple perfect. random people and Q- the other QP. Because motherfucker be like, it's because I can't bring my gun. Yeah, it's your gun. Sure. I'm sure it's your gun and not all those drugs. Who was the bring. crazy dude? I forgot his name, and I, I feel bad for forgetting his name. The crazy dude from Scribble Jam, who always used to fucking uh, battle rap, and he was like kind of chunky. Uh, dude, he jumped off the stage and broke, yes! his, uh, broke his fucking oh, leg. Oh, Deuce Leader? Deuce Leader. Deuce Leader. Yes! Deuce Leader. Deuce. Deuce. Deuce Leader. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That has to be one of the craziest yeah. things I've ever seen. Yeah, dude, <laughs> yeah, he dude jumped, jumped off the stage leader. and broke his leg. It was like he was stage diving. And everybody and he was like, moved. But I, and it was fucked up because he was like, I lost, so I'm going to jump off the stage. And yeah. then he jumped off the stage and broke his fucking leg. Yeah, so not only did he lost. lose, but then he hella lost. He broke his leg. He lost the ability to oh, walk correctly And for another a while. thing, Scribble Jam, fucking Icon the Mike King and copyright. Oh, shit. I was there for that. That's I saw tight. that shit happen. That's sick. I saw that shit happen. Fucking Icon the Mike King was hosting the, the semis indoors. And I'm at my merch table and copyright was like, yo, I hear Icon, the Mike King's in there talking shit about me and fucking handed me his fucking box of merch and shit. And I was (laughs) just like, fuck, yo, they're about to fight. And I just (laughs) left all the merch there and I went inside and they went outside and then you all know what happened from there. Tons of fucking little video game fucking memes they did on them (laughs) and shit. Yeah, that was a classic though. That was a classic. That's tight. All right. What, what else? Everybody, Abel, everybody has a good copyright these? story. Copy. <laughs> Copy's the best. He's coming through uh, here on tour. Hey, so on, check, the check the connection back the there. See if that oh. You might be rolling on it. You rolling on it? Hold on. Run it back. Run it back. Are the wires on ecstasy? You won't roll. There, oh, there we go. There we go. Walrus porn star here again with another shitty question. 
So, we out here eating Chick-fil-A fries because I don't support homosexuality. Dan saying he was going to suck Daylight Stick was just something that I never thought that I'd have to hear in Where my life. Where your voice oh, come from? But, uh, three minute question this time. Let's just uh, get straight to it. Jesus so, Christ. recently, allegedly, that guy Steve Croft from 60 Minutes guzzled champagne out of his mistress's ass. Which battle rapper, oh, wow. in general, is most likely to guzzle champagne out of a mistress's ass? Clearly Arsenal! Arsenal. <laughs> I was gonna Call say that too, Arsenal. Yeah, no. Yeah. Uh, thanks. Shouts to Caustic for looking like fucking the after picture on Faces of Meth. <laughs> wow! He said, Damn! He did he said, really just say I'm that? I'm eating Chick Fil A fries because I, I don't, don't so support homosexuality. Who is this kid? He was all mad because I said I I said I was gonna fucking make daylight or I was gonna rape below daylight or whatever. Oh my god! Uh, I'll fucking suck your little dick too. <laughs> <laughs> I do not support these yeah. comments. I knew that. Hey, was son, New York, son. Yo, B. Chill, chill, not okay, chill, B. chill, I'll fucking, chill. I'll yo. fucking pin you down. Chill, Yo, chill, you know, son. In a chill. fucking fuck you. Chill, Chick -fil -A son. Chick-fil-A parking chill, lot. Chill, you little chill. fucking, oh, you little oh, face. Oh, you, your cheeks oh, look soft, you little fuck. Oh, it just goes holy in shit. transmission. Fucking slap your little cheeks. Slap your little cheeks. Jesus Christ. Oh, man. Don't do that. Please stop it. Oh no. Anyways. No, no, no. <laughs> He's a little creep, Stop, bro. Man. You're a little fucking creep. Dude. What are you mad about? What was this question? They're back there trying to enter his body like the magic school bus and shit. <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ! Terrible. Yeah, this took a terrible turn. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, this we almost promoting. did it. We I almost hate this made it. Show. Guys. Dan, Why is every Dan show is worse than the last one before it? Dan is officially a pedo. Now. Ah, I just wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah the kid is 16 years old. I'm on my chomo shit now. Yeah, That's fucked up. I didn't know how old chomo he was. Chomo shit. <laughs> Dan, <laughs> just, Dan just signed up for Nambler. Dude, Rory's like, please Dan stop is a doing Rory it. didn't want to have to do any editing. Sorry. Rory's from the East Coast, too. He's he, tripping he, out right fuck now. that. I want this little fucker to know. No. Be afraid. No, what was this question? I can't even remember. Because you're so focused on fucking raping him, bro. I know. You, Jesus Christ. Do not impose your Nambler <laughs> ideologies you on the rest of us. Oh. Doing this. He was saying which... which uh, uh, who's gonna, we already said who's Arsenal. Gonna, Arsenal. Arsenal. Arsenal ate Mystique's ass for an hour and a half. With no, no champagne. Reason, there was no just, champagne. There was the champagne involved. in her butt at all. It was just asshole. <laughs> she just it was just, just asshole. It was just asshole butt. Asshole and locked Just jaw. stood on wow. butthole all It was day. just butt in there, dude. There was no... <laughs> there was just butt inside and there. And I'm sure Use. after like 30 minutes of her, of her butthole getting eaten, she was like, this is just ridiculous. Like, you got to do something else. I'm losing oh, feeling back there. Okay, so weird, yeah. But, uh, <sighs> all right, moving on. Next question. Yo. Is that it? No, we got, we got one more. Oh, oh fuck. Fuck everything. Don't dude. roll on those cables again. I'm so upset. I'll fucking. No, you won't. Tell, dude. Won't no, you, you fucking won't. won't. Anything. This shit just got incredibly real. <laughs> 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 I don't really? care about anything anymore. Really fucking creepy. <laughs> Jesus Christ. God I damn quit. it. <laughs> Fix it. <laughs> Daniel. Ah! <laughs> Start it over. <laughs> Why do people even call into this a, show? This is, Definitely not this, because I'm not doing anything different. That was a it's nightmare, bro. It's the nightmare. Because it's you that's on the fucking cord, you jerk off. I'm not on anything. <laughs> yeah. What am I on? I'm not on anything. What the fuck am I on? You dickhead. You fucking suck a dick, you fucking blame throwing motherfucker. <laughs> you, you, you fucking pedo. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking chomo back then. Chomo back then. Are you boys? <laughs> Alright, last week we had a lot of people struggling to get off their fucking questions, so I'm gonna keep it short and sweet. We're struggling I too. I heard uh, the I interview with uh, Avocado and he was saying how they didn't let him film, Ether. Mm -hmm. That is by far the stupidest fucking shit I've ever heard. <laughs> totally so, agree. my question this week is, what is the stupidest shit you've heard happen in battle rap in general? <laughs> Whether it's oh. a person or something that happened in a battle. Mm -hmm. Peace, thanks for the show. Cool. Sorry but still, that. I'm so sorry that took fucking forever to get to your question. To get to your short and uh, sweet question took us an hour. Technical difficulties and this kid walrus porn star, I got to get his ID and figure out if I'm a chomo or not. Because <laughs> you're going down, you little <laughs> fuck. You know what I'm going to do? No, I'm just... <laughs> 
I just like that what it makes the them say. <laughs> I'm legitimately scared for this young boy's uh, life. I, just and wanna, I like him. I like him. I, just, I, just I like him. Leave, I man. like him a lot. What a terrible way I'm to like, lose. Maybe I like shit. him too much. I just, uh, uh, oh, I just want to go. Imagine that. Can I go now? He's going to lose his virginity to a rape and rage dirtbag Dan. Who does not care how stop, old he is. Stop, uh, what is stop. the stupidest thing? <laughs> um, <laughs> just putting stop. pH through the pause test. What know? do you think? What's the stupid thing that, that you've seen happen at a battle event? where you were, I, I think we were just talking about an amazing one. QP flagging down the cops on his dude, pretty much, mama. Dude, just so much. And so it, much shut down, stuff. it shut down Everything the whole QP's event. Done. Dude, he, he borrowed QP. a fucking car for a month, and he it bar- was a rental. Yeah, he borrowed. He had and a, went on like a drug-filled adventure through the countryside with Q, another. QP. Shouts oh out to your boy Teddy. That's that was him that that footed the bill ah, for that shit. That's amazing. Right? Yeah, uh, that's so fucking post, cool. Post duel of the desert. Wow. Like QP. Whoa. Whoa. Is there more? Abel, no. that's good. <laughs> Young Connick Jr. <laughs> Faking a uh, fight at Film On Entertainment. Okay, faking a fight at Film On Entertainment that's for the dumb. Dumb. That was that that goes pretty high on the list of stupid fucking things I did. I'm pretty sure if you would have seen that before you asked your question, you would have been like. I'm so fucking pissed about this thing yeah. I've seen. Cannabis's um, arm brace. Yeah. yeah. I guess that fool tried to run across the border. Yeah. And was that, was, that was one of the wasn't stupidest he, things I've ever heard. Wasn't he wearing a neck brace when he got there, too? So, like, yeah. like we could have made up stories dude. about, like, crazy aliens and, like, anything that happened. But, like, the reality that was is that... Uh, that fucking that fool tried to run across the American and Canadian border. Like that's something that you could do in the world. And he <laughs> got fucking Never. straight up ah! murked the fuck out. Like tackled, and then they fucking th- threw him back. And they were like, and Why? then let him go to America because he's American. They were like, you're an idiot, bro. If you would have just waited in line, we would have <laughs> fucking let you go through. But now you have to fucking like spend the night in jail. And I had to, and I and my boy fucked you up. You know what I mean? Like. That's pretty much one of the dumbest ones. Good job, yeah, that's definitely up yeah. there. That was an awesome set of questions. Even though like we were having the little screen fuck up thing, uh, that was four different continents uh, sounded off, and none of those questions I think came from America. I've got a except good for sp- fucking my little fucking sucker, little bitch ass, little bitch boy. All right, all right. In- yeah. all right. God. All right. Where are hey, you at? Shut All up. Right. Okay. Please. You want this young boy way too much. Okay. Please, please. I thought of another down. stupid thing. What? I remember hearing a, a fond story of when DNA and them used to go to Dump Flop and they didn't understand that their plugs would not work in the wall there. And oh. we're like bewildered by it, and we're like super pissed hey, off. Yo, that so they you're telling like, me, hey, hold on, you're <laughs> telling me that we don't even use the same kind of electricity? <laughs> oh. Yeah, like for real, oh. yo, bro. How am I supposed to plug in my shaver, bro? Like we don't even ah. Uh, <laughs> what kind of electricity? What is, is, what is it like? Is it like D? <laughs> what is it horrible. like? AC. DC. Oh my god. DC. Duh. Uh. <laughs> Duh. Yo, uh, we're gonna close. Arnold this sh- Snipes. Uh, oh, shouts shit. to PH for coming through. Uh, PH, where they hit you up on uh, Twitter, Instagram, all that shit. PH underscore Team Homie. PH underscore Team Homie on Twitter and Instagram. Uh, we got a special treat for you guys this episode. Mr. Fab came by the studio. Uh, we got a little interview with him to drop for his battle that's happening fucking tonight in Oakland. So check out what Mr. Fab has to say this close, fucking just a few days away from his battle. Chia, what's good? It's motherfucking Dirtbag Dan Show. We finally figured out a way in the world to get Mr. Fab in the building. Yes, sir. Chia, and, and you got a battle on fucking Friday night, man. It's Wednesday right now. He got a battle on Friday night. So this episode is going to drop Friday morning. You're battling tonight, basically. How you feel? You Are you ready today to go in the ring with Arsenal? Yeah, most definitely. Um, I feel like all around, just naturally, I feel like I would be ready, even if I wasn't ready, just because I love big moments. You know what I'm saying? But uh, Def's definitely uh, prepared and excited, anxious a little bit to see, you know, the outcome of it. Not just necessarily the win or lose outcome, but... Just to everybody in the in the building, you know what I'm saying? And yeah. the thoughts in the industry to run rampant, man, to see what people talk about. So it's it's gonna be an exciting night. Almost more exciting to see what Twitter has to say sure. at nine PM yeah, yeah. than than what's gonna happen yeah, yeah, at eight yeah. PM. I'm more night. I'm more so focused on that the memes and uh the the you know the shit afterwards <laughs> all the yeah. bullshit yeah, yeah, all the yeah. troll oh, shit yeah. memes, that pops whatever off. they call oh, them. yeah we're yeah, yeah, gonna yeah. get some Mr. Fab memes out yeah. there yeah the memes we'll I see we'll that. see what Arsenal uh, brings to the table he's he's 
quite a performer. You guys have been doing the media run. I'm going to give you the win on the uh, the interviews so oh, yeah, far. Yeah, I'm up, I'm up I see you, up. you killing them on Sway. And th- that's crazy, right? Because Arsenal is usually the dude for yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Arsenal, Arsenal rarely takes the loss in the media war. <laughs> so. He can't fuck with me. I'm too witty, man. Like Not only am I witty, <laughs> but just the whole – his angles are wrong. Like, he has to reevaluate his angles. Like, he went up on the radio like, do y'all play Mr. Fab Records? And it was like, yeah. We, yeah, yeah, occasionally. Don't, yeah, don't, come, don't come to Oakland yeah, and, and ask that question. Yeah, please don't ask if they, they yeah. listen to Mr. Yeah, because yeah, you, might have, <laughs> you might have it fucking twisted. Like, we're our own little crazy microcosm out here, and that's right. a fucking ridiculous question to ask so, in the Bay Area. So, so asking those questions is just like, oh, yeah, yeah well, we actually do. Fab yes. just doesn't send us records He's like pulling back, and he was like, we got a few. I could grab some right now. So, you know, he got killed in that regard, and then – um he started just, you know, it, it, it's just like, what, what's your angle? Like, what? of course you're going to bring up, you know, the Mustard and YG stuff, but, but is that really a good angle? To, that, like, like, that just compliments me in, a, in anything, man. I don't, even, I don't even know what that is. See, because that's it. some old, like, super industry shit, and, yeah. like, you're playing for battle rappers right. now. We don't give a fuck about that shit. Yeah, like, so. We don't care about that shit at all. So definitely, like, I don't think those kind of moves are going to have a huge effect. I mean, generally, dude, like... When I when I'm enjoying Arsenal, it's when he's not saying shit. Like right. when he's not talking about like someone specifically yeah. or some specific moment. It's when he just go s- just drown a baby, Arsenal. You know what you I'm know saying? What like some shit do, like bro. that. When you're just saying crazy shit, like that's when I like Arsenal. And hopefully, like because if if I'm in his shoes, that's the kind of shit I would be writing. He kind of bars write. that could work for everybody because like he has to write like that, man. Because personals, you don't know me personally. Like you can only go off what. Yeah. You know, what, what you hear and what you heard. And, and, and personally, when you do that, I'm an open book. So I get a world, my life anyway. So, you know, it wouldn't be exciting. And I told him, like, dude, that little disrespectful thing that you do, that, that's not going to work with me. Like, that's going to be like, come on, bro, get out of my face. Like, quit playing with me. <laughs> like, Yo, son, get out of my face. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, uh, we, I can't wait for that so, shit. You can't do it. There's, 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 you gotta, no way to, there's no bullying. Like, you, you can't, can't bully do it me. here. Like, like you, that won't happen. Yeah. So you, you better wrap your ass off. I mean, you he's really going to have to rap. Yeah, it's going to have to be like a, a performance of a lifetime. And he's definitely walking into an uphill battle. How do you feel about that? Like, knowing that you have a clear advantage going in. Are you worried that? Motherfuckers are going to overreact to your bars because we're in Oakland and then cats are going to be online like, oh, Fab wasn't saying shit. Even if you're saying shit, because you know how motherfuckers do. Like, they're trying to find any excuse yeah, to be upset about Yeah, they're looking for the any battle. reason to chastise. Do you feel like you that's a... Smoke. No, I feel like I'm already... I'm still, no matter what, the underdog. Okay. Yeah, um, no, you have to be, right? Yeah, they, like, no, you no, have no matter, to be. No matter what, man. I feel like no matter what happens up until that battle, I'm still going to be the underdog just, just due to the fact because... Um, what Arsenal has accomplished for himself and established for himself as a battle rapper. Yeah. Um, and in this battle realm, me uh, coming back to it, uh, there are a lot of people who have no knowledge of me even being involved in it initially. Yeah. As well as there are a lot of people who feel as if um, they're just writing me off as another industry rapper joining in, trying to get a check right. off. Yeah, rap. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and I think that, like, it's funny because even with cats that have a history in battling, I think you, you've always been there more, like, like at shows actually trying to battle other motherfucking yeah. MCs. Like, Fab's the dude who's backstage trying to battle your favorite rapper, like, and killing him, whether he likes it or not, just at the event. You know what I mean? For nobody, for no YouTube, for no fucking money. So when I heard that you were going to step into the ring, I was like, oh, okay, that's natural. This fool tries to battle. Like, if he'll he'll battle me at the airport. Right. Shit, you know what I mean? So, like, it's not crazy to me. What do you what do you think the, the hardest transition is for you going from beats to acapella? Like... It's not really a, uh, that, that's the easy different. part. I think that the the most difficult part is when you out on that island by yourself in that stage. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. And those things that you was rapping in the mirror. What if they not reacting to it yeah. like you thought? You know, <laughs> you're absolutely right, Fab. That is the most <laughs> that, that is the. So that's we're just like, at yeah. least you that's, know. He like, already knows. Yeah. Like, you know, I think he's good. That's, that's the most difficult part, man. Um, <laughs> being an artist and. In your mind, you feel like that bar was crazy. Yeah, yeah. they didn't get it, or yeah. and that shit will throw you out. Or they got it and yeah. they just 
they didn't react like you wanted to react. That's, like that's the was. biggest test is not psyching yourself out when something doesn't go the for way sure. you thought just it would. Keep going. Oh, I tell you what, you're prepared for that one. Another one that you might not be prepared for that fucks me up almost more than that is when they react to shit that you didn't think they were going to react to. Yeah. So you're going to set up a big punch and then all of a sudden they're fucking, they want you to run it back on bar three and shit. And then you're like, hold on, hold on. Where, wait, where the you're fuck like, are we at? What the fuck was bar three? I don't want to go back to the fucking beginning on this <laughs> right. shit. But that, like, for me, those were always the things that would, like, that I would, you know, when you catch a motherfuckers, like, disaster would be like, uh, fucking, or like, or I'll be like, yeah, what up, bitch? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. when you throw those little words in, right. that means I'm trying to desperately grab Remember, back onto my wrist yeah, yeah. to the back of my head. Yeah. I'm, I'm hoping you don't have that moment, you know what I'm saying? But uh, I love to see what the, the, because you're a witty motherfucker. I love I think, to see what the I quick think what, quips would what be. With me is, I'm so used to relying on my freestyle ability that if I do have those moments, which may be a gift and a yeah. curse, but if I do rely on those moments, Whatever I had prepared is definitely going to change. Okay. Yo, like, because yeah. it's definitely going to go a whole different way. Yeah, you know what I'm saying like I'm off the rails. I may nah. miss two and three, but I got back to it on eight and nine. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So it's going to be those type of shit. So. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, I yeah. think I think my favorite thing about you has always been I've never seen any hesitation in you. Yeah. At any moment to rap, like right. you have never like <laughs> paused or thought it's just you just go and that's you know what I mean. And that's, that's what it's going to be. That's that's it's that's the beauty of it, man. And these dudes now, it's like you know, it's Cassidy coming in. It's like, is he going to choke? Is cannabis going to choke? <laughs> yeah. I have no fucking like thought about that for you. <laughs> yeah, at all. yeah, no, definitely. <laughs> that, like that, it's it's that's one thing I'm way less worried about. And I think what, as far as like rappers go, like really was Cassidy ever barring out you know what i mean like we i hear your music and it's you know it's fucking deep you got fucking you know there's content there it's very lyrical you know what i'm saying like as far as rappers go like you're a fucking rapper yeah. that's something that i, I think that. when these fools come in like you don't think about joe budden like that you know what i mean like man joe budden's fucking he really is is on his fucking like rap shit like, i don't fuck with joe buttons but he could rap i mean he could rap right like but like, like the mood music. I don't and, consider him to be lyrical in any way, shape, or form. I consider him to be a good like storyteller rapper. It's, it's not the same. I think you're the first dude from that realm of people that can spaz. There we go. What's that, so, there we what's go. You know what I'm saying? Like so they, they can really just go off on somebody. What's like they ain't to gonna do is, it like man, that. Um, and, and man, I appreciate that, bro. Um, especially coming from you two dudes, man. I, I appreciate that a lot. But with me, it's like I never really looked at myself. As that industry rapper, like you know, I'm a Bay Area dude, we yeah, independent like, dude. So I yeah, never, yeah. I never really became a household name. I never yeah, was yeah, like. Yeah, yeah. So when you think of the Cassidy's, you think of somebody who was signed to Swiss, you know, Rough yeah. Riders, Big Records. You think of the Joe Buttons yeah. and, and his time to pump it up was signed to Def Jam. No you doubt, think no of doubt. Cannabis, who at one time uh, was considerably motherfuckers thought he was the best rapper, the greatest in the world. rapper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the, you know what I'm saying? Thought. So, so you know what I'm saying? I never, <laughs> I never was that. Yeah. You know what I mean? I never was that. I'm just a, a independent dude who has some success doing our independent chains. Yeah, and doing yeah, what we yeah, do. yeah. Um, able to uh, being able to maintain some relevancy through my hustle and my grind. Yeah. yeah so yeah. when they when they say another industry rapper is coming in, I'm like, dude, don't hold cool. me to those types. I'm cool if that's what you want to look Sweet. at. So cool. yo, that kind of works for you it though. Works for it you really does going. work for you because <laughs> I think you're not you're not one of those dudes. You're gonna exceed expectations, but then also like. Now, if, now, if you weren't an industry rapper, you are, right? If yeah, these motherfuckers right, are saying, be yeah. talked about. we're on, you know, Sway, and he's saying, okay, industry rapper versus battle rapper, right. that's what the fuck it is. I guess that's what it is. Uh -huh. I think it's also become, like, a real term of, like, just who makes music versus who battles. You right. know what I'm saying? Like, so, because a lot of these battle dudes can't make music. You know yeah, I mean? I mean, Arsenal's a big prime example of that, man. Um, well, this is what I always say about that. I've said it time and time and again. Uh, it's time in the booth and time in the ring, right? Hmm. Like, and, and, uh, some motherfuckers get in the ring and they're natural. You know what I mean? Some motherfuckers get in the booth and they're natural. But regular people in the real world, in real life, like for 99 out of 100 of us, we have to work at the shit we're good at. You know what I mean? So like I spent a lot of time making music while we were doing battles so that I could be fucking, you know, I, I could be considered to be good at both. But maybe that's why I ain't the fucking best battle rapper in the world. Maybe the reason that Disaster is so fucking good is because that's all he fucking does is battle, 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 battle. But if he spent time in the studio, he'd probably be able to put together some fucking songs. I mean, these motherfuckers can rap. Arsenal can rap, right? For sure. But he's not in the studio every day like, I need to do this shit because this is how I eat. But he he been making some songs. like uh, Totally. I mean, but like it's just the difference in time is what I got. I got a chance to spend like a lot of on this last East Coast run, spend some time, you know what I'm saying, in his city and in his stuff. And uh, uh, in, 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 when I said stuff, pause if that was possible. Um, 
Who knows? This is the Bay Area. You we don't do know. that shit. Well, I don't yeah, know. So. I don't. See, you that's know, how we know you were on the East Coast. Internet cats be like, yo, hold on, yo, in his stuff. What do you mean? What do you mean you were in his stuff? Yo, bring that back. In his studio, man. Immediately take it there. Yeah, they take it there, man. And got a chance to listen to some of his music. But he could make music. But my feel, my feeling is, does the hard battle rap core fan base want to hear their favorite battle rappers make music? Nah, I mean, well, this is the thing is, is <laughs> not like what I always look at it at, at like numbers. Specifically, like well, there was one instance that was really clear for me. Like we did this battle in the Philippines and when the battle, we released a mixtape for free download with the battle. When the battle hit a million, the mixtape just about hit 100,000. So there was like, 10%, right? So there was like 10% of the people that, and it's free and it's a click. They ain't got to do hella shit. It didn't cost them any money. But only 10% of the people that watched that battle went on to download the mixtape. I mean, if that's, and, and fuck if I didn't do, you know, 10 other battles that year and attach the mixtape to that too. But that's the one battle where I was like, we released it that day with the mixtape and we pushed it like that, you know? So there's really a small percentage, if you're lucky, 10, that's going to, Go on from a battle and go. Oh, I want to buy something yeah. from this artist. Right. I, I want to buy I don't, a T-shirt. I don't think that battle rap fans actually buy music. No, nah. and no, they get something for free on the internet all the fucking time. It so it's hard to get them to pay for anything because yeah. you have a battler like Arsenal, who proclaims to be the most viewed battler, which yeah. may be true. No, nah, I knows? mean like in America, but not in the world. The, right. There's kids in the Philippines <laughs> that just shit on us for whatever right. reason. I don't so, know why. so when you look at how many ever views he has, and then you look at his sound scan, he's Sold 500 records. He's like, God damn. I tell him these dudes. I kill these dudes on the music up. numbers. Yeah, yeah. I tell them all the time, and they don't want to <laughs> believe it. But like, I mean, what, what are you like? We're talking about anything in that realm. Like, right. I'm do. I do better music video numbers than Mook. Hmm. There's no fucking reason. There's a Mook and Lux song that's like a year old that's got like 80,000 views on YouTube. How the fuck do you guys do battles that get? Fucking, uh, you know, it, you do a blog and you get a hundred thousand views talking about yeah, a battle. That, that's you can't stupid. together combine forces and get more than a hundred k on a music video. Me and these fools take dabs in here, and we got like <laughs> we got eighty k of us for, in a video where we're just getting high the whole time. You know what I'm saying? So it's it really, like I said, it's what you devote your energy to. But I think we gotta. I think we have to press the fans a little harder, though. You know, so totally to the well, battle rap fans. I think you guys have to allow an artist to expand as well. You know, the battling is fine and fine and dandy, but most of us are uh, artists, and we have. Um, Dreams of aspiring to continue. <laughs> we got to take fucking it to other, dreams, you know, man. Dreams. So I think the, to the battle <laughs> rap people fans out too, there, man. man. You got to support the artists, man. You know what I'm saying? When they not battling, you know, they may drop a mixtape and want to drop some music, man. Support them, man. You the know? real fans do. I'll tell you what. Yeah. You're talking to a fucking the core of them right now because the motherfuckers that sit and listen to us talk about battle rap for right. two hours, they are like the they're the dudes that go buy CDs from the artists. They're the Salute, dudes that go man, to shows. Man. They're the, definitely. I I can't tell you how many times. From like this last year of touring, that cats would be like, oh man, they just mentioning personal ass shit where I'd be like, how do you know that? And I'm like, oh, you sit and listen to me talk for right. two hours, right. like twice a month. You know me better than I think you know me. You know that's, what I mean? That's respect, man. That's I, real I fans. That. I respect the real fans out there, not the fair weather fans. They're, and and well, that's the thing about battle rap. As much as like the fans need to step up, the we need to, you know, and hopefully through battles like this. We need to expand our fan base into these people who show up to shows. Because I'm out there touring with like strange music artists, and I'm like, damn, like Real this fans. is a fan base. Real these fans. fools show up, they're wearing the t-shirts, then they want to buy another t-shirt. Tattoos. Take yeah. the tattoos, they take That's pictures crazy. with everybody. Even like me being like an opening act on the tour, like cats are like, Oh, I want to know you because you're with these sure, dudes. Like know I, the guys. So like, like that's we need that kind of fan base. We need those some of those strange music fans, fucking juggalos. Come on over, man. We need all you motherfuckers <laughs> to come to battles and buy fucking a dirtbag Dan T-shirt while you're there. Fucking <laughs> download a fucking. Costume what are we? Mixtape. What are we talking about? Just fans <laughs> in general. <laughs> Wait a second. Hold on, we might have got lost. Juggalos. Ah, uh, I love them, bro. I don't They're need great. your money that bad. I love fans, bro. <laughs> I love fans. And I ain't gonna lie. I went out with Tech, man, and those fans are fucking crazy. There we man. go, right? So you them. met, you <laughs> met, you met all the same shit that I met. Yes, and, sir. And I'll tell you what, like, I was on a Tech album on one of those Tech albums, and uh, I think what was it the uh, was it the Killer album? I think I was on. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, so I did a few shows with Tech, bro, and it was just like, oh, your, your pussy rate changed on them shows, bro. They're like, Especially if you if we you come out with Tech, yeah. it's like, oh, no, Tech is the dude. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. so, you know, it's beautiful, man. But but getting back to the main thing at, at, at hand, what we're dealing Fans with. Fans need to step up. For sure. Uh, we need to grow the fan base, and it needs to be more of a fan base that are the people who are willing to go out and support us beyond the thing that we're doing for fucking free as far as you're concerned. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, all you do is turn on the internet and you watch a battle. That's tight. Like, if you really want this culture to grow you want to see better battles you want to see battling advance because the only way that young motherfuckers who are good are going to want to get into this shit is if they see that there's a little bit of a fucking future in it you know what i'm saying so if you get to see like one of these battlers and, and it don't have to be even us if it could be like the newer generations if someone like b magic somehow in five years transfers into someone who's selling music on a legit scale like that would be fucking tight for everybody right like that would be tight because then more kids are going to want to grow up and battle same thing i say about mma like now there's money in it so now kids are growing up to be little badasses they're like i don't need to learn how to do this shit because it's what pays like if i don't want to play football if i don't want to play basketball and i want to punch somebody in the face boxing is my only fucking option <laughs> if you yeah. want to rap you know, making albums isn't your only option. You could get you could build your models. brand in, in multiple ways. You know, every every day on Instagram, I see fuck dope this dope era shit every fucking day. Yo. Yeah. Like it's everywhere. Literally, the whole town's wearing the shit. You know what I'm saying? Sure, you can't sure, deny man. like there's other shit going on. You know what I'm saying? So. We we working, man. We we uh, I felt like we we came into the ranks of the fashion um, with an idea. Yeah. Um, uh, an idea that was rooted off something that had a lot of substance to it. You know, yeah. there are a lot of people who went through the dope era, a lot of people who were born in it, a lot of people who experienced, got a lot of money out of it, lost a lot of money, um, yeah. so on and so forth. And uh, we were able to, um, through fashion, rekindle some of those memories, man, with a great brand name and the branding name and, and being able to brand it the way we were doing using social media as infomercials. Totally. Uh -huh. I think like the beautiful. the you like the way that you guys utilize the fans, you know what I mean? The way that like, you know, cats know that when they're, purchasing a product that they're getting it directly from you and then they're you know they go out on instagram and they tag you in a picture and that you're going to go and repost that picture from your instagram like that to, that's a huge inspiration for us over here because i'm like yeah man anything we sell i mean I'm, I'm telling them you know in the postage like yo snap a flick tag me in this i'm gonna repost it yeah, you know sure. what i mean because that's like well, how, how? What better way to build a brand than to have the fans be like the ones that are the catalyst for like pushing it to the world? You we know built I mean? it through personal experience, man. Um, you know the whole dope era squad, man. From uh, from G Field, um, my business partner Crypto, the mall, and, and everybody that plays a significant role because we all, you know, we all play off each other a significant role. But we built it to make it personal. You yeah. Because we all went through this, and so we we all have stories. When I'm selling the person a shirt, they're not just buying that shirt. Because of the, you know, they like the shirt. They they may buy it because, dog, that was my favorite game. Or yeah, dog, that really was my first thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. It, it's more personal, man. And, and like you say, man, we just try to make it seem like, yo, not making it even seem like it is what it is. Yeah. We out here, bro. We we making house deliveries, drop offs, no pickups, doubt. everything, man. No Honey doubt. packs, dope air. Yeah, Mr. Fab in this motherfucker battle of the bay. Seven yes, is sir. this weekend. Uh, we'll put a link in the video description to download the pay-per-view. Caustic is going to be battling Head Ice, uh, Fab and Arsenal. I will be running the pay-per-view broadcast. I'll be making my pay-per-view broadcast debut. I'm going to fucking wear a suit or at least the, the top half of one because you, you won't even see this shit down here. <laughs> uh, I'm going to be zooted out there like, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we are <laughs> live in Oakland, California. <laughs> you don't want to miss that shit. Yeah, let's just turn this shit into a monster truck rally. Oh, Sunday, so I'm sorry. <laughs> Friday, 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 Friday afternoon for no good reason. We are at a club and we're rocking battle rap. Uh, <laughs> during the day, about to get our back rubbed. <laughs> 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 Mr. Fab, ladies and gentlemen, cheer up back Gancho. Yes, sir. In a thick location. Yo. Yo. Yo, dirtbag skin. You beating me in the battle? It's like saying you don't put mayonnaise in your burrito. <laughs>
Yo, I got a question for you little animals, man. Who is the oldest battler? Who is the oldest battler? You know what I'm saying? You got a Swave Seva, <laughs> a.k.a. Urkel's Pops. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. I'm old, nigga. I'm old. Hold it down. You got pumpkin head. Yo. I'm a Robin Hood, so it's only right I take it from Rich. PH, he's a classic. I still slap his eight tracks, you know? The jet you chill the herd. Jet up, you ain't nothing but a bird. You don't know the word. The word you need to know is what I do. What I do is talk to you. Try to tell you how to keep yourself out of jail. You acting like you can't pay your bail. You ain't got no money. Ain't Thanks for us, D. Bitch, walk off. <laughs> But anyway, so who's the oldest battler? Does anyone actually know these guys' age or, or what? Well, uh, shout out to Jesus. My rhymes are fly, my beats are sick. My crew is big and it keeps getting bigger. That's cause Jesus Christ is my nigga. Shout out to Poe Rich. <laughs> Shout out to Quasar. I am the verbal gene mapper, a cyber rapper. Ha ya, it's thick in this bitch. It's thick. I'm tough, man, I'm out. Oh, hold on, I'm old, nigga, I'm old. Hold it down.